Okay, uh, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome back to The Last Ascension. Uh, yeah. Welcome back. Uh, today we will be going to the playground. It should be a very fun session. Um, with that, I'm just gonna go to the screen with all the people and people can introduce themselves. So, yeah. Thanks for coming if you're here. And if you're not here yet, how are you seeing this? What are you, what are you doing? How'd you, how'd you do that? That's quite impressive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Boop. Okay, people. Uh, <laughs> we are live, and it is time for you to introduce yourselves. We will start with Sal, because I realize you guys probably can't see the order unless you're watching the stream, which you should be. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Give me the views. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> I'll watch the stream, don't worry. I'm, I'll watch the stream. <laughs> the stream. So I'm happy it, to watch then you can use sub points to make me do stupid stuff. That is and, true. And yourselves I... do stupid stuff. That is very true. <laughs> oh, you're giving us options up. But yes, um, so hi, my name is Erin, pronoun she, her. Um, usually at the end, not today. And yeah, I'm currently playing Sal, she, they, who you will meet later. And um, Jenny, I can't point on the screen at Viris. Hello, oh, I am Phoenix. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, but I play Jenny, whose pronouns are he, him, and I am a Warforged Barbarian who you would have met last week in Erin's session, if you watched. Okay. And last but not least. My name is Peter. I go pronouns by he, him. I don't believe my character has been introduced yet, so we'll see where that Thumbs up, or do I do I say my new name now? Uh, I mean, you might want to say the name. It's on the screen. Like, oh, okay. My character's name is Tana. <laughs> you had a nice bit of mystery, and we said nah. Like, I could have, I could have turned on and off, but I was like, the sources aren't named by the character; they're named by the position on my screen, so I have to remember, and I will mess it up. <laughs> I think I can remember left and right? Like, hell no. So that's that's a lot of work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, we start as we normally do on Squishy. A fun little, fun little friend in the wasteland. Small, strange creature. No one's actually worked out what kind of creature Squishy's supposed to be yet. So this is just a creature. Um... Uh, it's just walking through a place we come to know. We've come to know as the wasteland. Um, it's a very unforgiving, like kind of deserty, but not deserty world. The ecosystem here is basically whatever it feels like today. And by mood and mood alone, does that change? Um, yeah, and like. We have one person currently about to go babysitting, basically. Uh, <laughs> you've been given the task of entertaining the owner of this creature, Mal, who is about eight, a uh, very small drow. Um, they have a little plushie of Squishy as well that they carry around with them at all times, which uh, some people learned in roleplay is called Lil Squish, uh, <laughs> and yeah, they bring that with them everywhere. So you have been tasked with babysitting them and taking them to a place known as the playground, because this little child, as much as they might be like eight, they are the gatekeeper and the owner of the one thing that will keep you alive in the wasteland and to let them kick you off it would be quite the problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, just as a quick recap, what has happened so far, people have left their landlords of choice to become outcasts out in the wasteland. 
the sky has changed. There is no day here, it is always night, and the constellations are the only light, except for the moons. And one of them's missing. The, the sword constellation's gone, guys. It's kind of a problem. What, what do we do about that? I don't know. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? We'll find out. Uh, but something happened, and as a result, you have all ended up out here. No idea what's going on. You acquired a random man, and don't know what's up with him either. And yeah, you've now found this child. Uh, some people last session, run by Eren, took that random man off to go find some water because resources on this landlord creature that you live on are definitely not leveled out for this many people. They were like, there was enough for this one kid to live here and it's not quite clear how the kid has been living here. Nothing else. Um, but yeah. Babysitting time. <laughs> I, just, I just love, oh yeah, this random man. No name, just man. Currently, the name is very bad. Um, yeah, so, what's Jenny doing at the moment? We set off, or are we still on on Squishy? Uh, you're still on Squishy. You have to go find Mal first. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, in that case, I will be searching around. I think I'll start probably in the gardens. Mm -hmm. Um and just kind of start looking around and kind of um like calling out for them try and try and get them to come to me potentially if i can't find them yeah um so going into the garden you would actually see them like kind of sat just on like the edge of a flower bed um uh, they seem to have kind of torn up an entire flower bed making some sort of pile of mud and they are now just eating fruit and I will notice, like, you've never seen fruit grow on any of these plants. The plants are mostly dead, except for, like, the ones that Beck has been desperately trying to keep alive. Do they just have this fruit? <laughs> cool. <laughs> are you ready to go to the, the playground? Playground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go. Okay. <laughs> the, the fastest the fastest exit of the landlord yet um, you wanna go? yeah like, let's do it Listen, Jenny you guys don't know how old Jenny is yet but um, Jenny is a, a, a kid as well so we're on a ride here no oh, that's very bad <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're babysitting two people is what I'm hearing. Right? Oh uh, no. Like I'm the only babysitter. Did they put the child in charge of the child? Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when everyone was gathering around the bounty board being like, right, what are we doing? Everyone's just like, <laughs> oh <laughs> you you can do that one. It's fine. <laughs> he almost did it and said yeah, it's fine. Hey, children, I'm, I'm sure they're going to find anything wrong. Uh, <laughs> I love this game. How are you getting down? Is the the rope from last time still attached? Uh, I'm assuming no one took it off, so yes, you would see a rope hanging down. Um, I would go with the rope and I would kind of say to Mal, do you want to get on my back and I can take you down with me? Okay. Um, they just kind of hand you very proudly this plushie. They're like, but you take care of Squish. Okay. What can I tell? What creature it is? Roll nature, I guess. Okay, that's nature question mark. Oh, it's sixteen. Uh, I mean, it has more than four legs. That's confusing. okay. <laughs> like a bug? Maybe. But it, it is okay. furry, so... Okay. <laughs> furry, more than four legs. My DM screen's stuck on my shelf. 
<laughs> I'm going to take another book out first. What? Is Squishy furry or is just Lil Squish furry? Squishy's furry, but kind of like around the edges. Like the bit that you've been living on is a bit more kind of solid. Okay. <laughs> I've now got a note for squishy and a note for squish. This is not going to get confusing anytime soon. Oh god, good luck with that. Wait till the whole arc about squish being alive or whatever, you know? <laughs> oh no. Squish has been oh, alive kinda... and listening the whole time. Oh no. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tuck the, the squish in kind of like into the like straps of my bagpipes to kind of you know strung around me keep it safe um and then i'll kind of like kneel down so that mal can like climb on my back mm -hmm. uh yeah mal will do so and Lovely. then just go yay and they kind of are very excited to be this high up go and then i'm i'll start climbing down the rope okay uh, make me an athletics check, please. I will. And this is when I get really scared that you're gonna kill the child. <laughs> I know. Oh I think it would probably be better me carrying the child. But that's a 15. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You managed to get down. We're safe. You, you did it. You didn't kill the child. Yeah. <gasps> Mission accomplished! <laughs> It's like, okay, that's the session, guys. We're done. <laughs> um, Jesus, contact now. <laughs> okay, so with that, sorry, I'm just messing around with things on my desk because I apparently have nothing better to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you are now down in the wasteland. Um,. Who wants to roll and see how the wasteland is doing right now? Oh. I'll roll. Go <laughs> for it. Are you doing both or one of them? Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna do one of them. I can I can yeah. do both. Who else wants to roll then? You can do the one. I don't want any of this on my hands. <laughs> Nine. Four. Nine and four. Got nine last time as well. Okay. <laughs> With the third roll I rolled as well. That's a very interesting one. Okay. Um it seems to be a <laughs> nice day down here. It's cool. quite warm, but not too warm. It doesn't feel like a dangerous level of heat right now. Um and yeah, you can just see like Squishy is kind of almost like turning away from where you are and heading off another direction. You can also see that like the bottom of this rope has basically completely like frayed and worn down now. Like it is ground level now as opposed to this like 10 feet that were dragging along the last time you went down. Because it has been like a week. It's probably caught on something and torn by now. Mm -hmm. Um, Like... Yeah, Squishy's strong enough that if it got caught in something, you wouldn't even feel it get stopped. Um, with that, yeah, what are you doing? Do I know where the playground is? So, hmm. I kind of thought you were going to ask, ask you before you came down. <laughs> um... I just left so fast. <laughs> What? <laughs> you, you can see if Mao has any idea. <laughs> you probably don't, though, because you didn't ask anyone. You've just been like, okay. Time to run <laughs> to the wasteland! <laughs> <laughs> the playground is the wasteland we explored along the way. <laughs> oh my god. I will also say, I... at this point, you would hear Mao just, like, gasping audibly. Mao seems yeah. fascinated and is, like, waving at Squishy as Squishy keeps walking away. How often do you go down onto the wasteland? Uh, 
last time I was down here, I was this many. That's cool. Do you know the way to the playground? No. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> if the two kids immediately leave and die, I, I don't one. know what to do. I've got a four. <laughs> Would I have any... Hi, session, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Would I have any knowledge from my time in the wasteland previously of a place that might be a playground? Oh, History. Thank you. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, that seems so good. <laughs> oh, good. Where's history? Oh, uh, four minus one for three. You have worse history than Mao. Like, I just checked. Mao actually got a ten, because then Mao gets a plus six to history, which is wild. God. But... Uh, no. <laughs> so it was nice knowing these characters. Um, what have we done? <laughs> uh, you're not sure. Like, you figure you could probably. I feel like you. You kind of were like, eh, I'll just work it out when I get down there. I'll figure it out. It's well, fine. I can make anything a playground if I try hard enough. Yeah. Um, I'm. <laughs> Start walking in a direction, like just straight ahead. That's a tactic. <laughs> oh, is there anything around? Is it just completely empty? Roll me a survival check. That's doable. That's doable. Dirty twenty. Ooh, dang, okay. Um, you can't see much out here. It's pretty vague, although it does seem like you can see what might be, like, people in the distance. It seems very familiar to, like, when you were out here and people just kind of found you. Like, they don't seem to have anything with them, which tends to be a good sign. People that have stuff probably stole it. Um, <laughs> other than that, there is one thing that you would notice with your dirty 20. Yeah. Because the ground around you has started to shake. And it's not the shake of squishy walking, it is the shake of something else. Hi. Um, if I see people, I'm gonna head to people. I'll okay. start walking in that direction. Thanks for the follow, Orokali. I'm pretty sure that's been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you're gonna God. start heading towards people, okay? Yep. Um, and cutting over to Sal and Tanner, you guys have at some point while walking around just kind of bumped into each other. It, there's there's not really anything else to bump into. It's quite easy to bump into people unless you're actively avoiding them. What are you guys doing? You can see someone kind of approaching in the distance. Um you should probably go over and talk to them, right? I mean, I don't I'm not sure yet. Well or it's they, nice to make another meet a new friendly face. That's true, they do look kind of lost. They also look like two children just out on the way, so how old is it? Probably not good for them to be unsupervised. No, maybe let's go check on them at least. Yeah. Our characters are like, mm, they may be dangerous, but also they don't look like they could kill us currently, so. Yeah, children is like, hmm, <laughs> what are they doing out here? Context. For context, still, I am a full size, I am like six foot tall, okay. and I do have a massive glaive on my back. Okay. I don't look like a child, necessarily. You just are one. Yeah. I just am. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Even still, we looked at you guys and went, they, they look so lost out here. Like, they need help. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> accurate. I think we'll probably start heading over. Mm. Okay. 
minute. Sorry, just dropped something. <laughs> no worries. So, yeah, um, you guys would also roll me survival, please. <laughs> survival, okay. Right. That is 14. Yes. Ooh, 17. Okay. With a 14. Yeah. Everything's fine. Uh, with a 17, yeah, the ground is shaking. You're not quite um, sure why. Can I look around and see if there's anything, like, in yonder distance? Uh, yeah, roll perception. Uh, let me... Just for context, because I'm still trying to get up my uh, character sheet. Uh, perception is which thing? Is it wisdom or intelligence? Wisdom. Cool, mm -hmm. I know what I'm adding. <laughs> that would be a two. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing seems to be the direct cause of this. Great. Um, so something bad's really happening out here, but I think we should go a little quickly to go and find them. And then, uh, I'm just gonna start walking a bit faster to get to them. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you pick up the pace, and it doesn't take too long before you arrive at this person. And at this point, uh, new people, what do you look like? I feel like that's a good thing to cover, and then, <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Why doesn't Sal go first, as I went first last time? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this all the time if we have to. Oh um, yeah, no, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, so, Sal is, um, mainly, uh, what you see is like a lot of plaid, um, a little neckerchief around their neck, and they are lizard folk which look like a gecko. So like a big head, big bug eyes, um, just like looking very adorable, um, and like got like the plaid and like the jeans. Oh, they're <laughs> very ill-equipped really to be in the wastelands, but taking pride in their style. Fair enough. Very like fair. yellowish as well. I'm trying to finish my hero forge as fast as I can, guys, I swear. <laughs> so, uh, Tana, on the other hand, when the sort of people first see him, they seem as quite uh, sparkly and shiny as the, because of the constellations, the starlight just the sparkles off their sort of gem like form as they are a sapphire, uh, dragonborn. Uh, they've got round spectacles. Um, clear, clear glass. Um, they're sort of wearing sort of mostly leather, leather sort of armor and sort of leather clothes, but with the sort of what seems to be a co uh, it's sort of a cotton linen shirt underneath, with sort of a collar just turned up with a and a brown sort of uh sort of hooded cape behind him, sort of somewhat being able to cover him cover himself a little bit in the summer bits of the desert but or no the wasteland i my apologies uh but yeah another thing you will see is that they've got a sort of a gold ring on their right ring finger cool hmm? okay and i'm assuming you guys remember what jen looks like yeah yeah but so yeah to be very brief, you would see this big warforged with bagpipes and a glaive, and riding their shoulders right now is a very small drow child. Who would be kind of waving. I'm also waving. Also, uh, Jenny would also be holding a plushie. Yeah. <laughs> very important detail. The most important. 
lose that plushie <laughs> and the whole game ends. Like <laughs> I was just gonna say, if you lose that plushie, <laughs> it is almost certainly sentient. I can feel it. <laughs> is it? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. So you all kind of have arrived at this together. What are you doing? The ground is also shaking more now, by the way, I will note. So I went first last time. Yeah, I know. As I, I saw you. <laughs> Just... <laughs> right. What are you two doing out here? It's, it's exactly safe for a uh, child and a... Looking for the playground? Uh, it's a playground out in the wastelands? Mm hmm. History, see if you've heard of it. Alright. And Sal, you can also roll. 15. 5. 5, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you have no idea. With 15, you've definitely kind of heard like a rough kind of rumor. Of a thing to do with playground somewhere in like the west. Hmm. <laughs> you heard something or other about playground in the wasteland. <laughs> I will also note, uh, Jenny, you've been walking east. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Would would our characters know which direction is like which? Do we have like a compass on ourselves? Like, uh, I doubt any of you have a compass, but anyone with a good hand in a good hand in like survival should be able to work out which way it is. Just because, like, as much as there isn't like. A sun, and you can't do the like. Oh, it rises in the east, or whatever. Very much like there being a north star in our world. As long oh, as yeah, you know no, what, it's... like, what time of year it is, like, you should be able to work out based on where the constellations. Yeah, are. do do the Moana kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, um, I think, I think Jenny yeah, knows which trying. direction they're going, but it's just not the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Aha, this way. So if anyone wants to try with. Survival. You can see I'll if try. you can locate more. Why not? <laughs> Eleven. Eight. <laughs> Thirteen. Screw it, Mal's gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> Is Mal gonna be better at this than all of you? Well, pretty well, to be fair. <laughs> Mal got an eight. Uh. <laughs> God. We're not gonna make it then. <laughs> But, mm, hmm. I might be cheeky and give Mao advantage because they spend a lot of time looking at the stars. It's the only thing they actually have to look at. <laughs> I think by now they might know how to do it. And certainly yeah, not because you need a success. <laughs> certainly not. Certainly <laughs> not because we're screwed. <laughs> okay, we got 19. <laughs> so Mao would kind of point towards where the constellation of sword was and be like well uh, that way is north and they sound pretty sure of themselves also hyphen <laughs> <laughs> so you think you said it's in the west let's go west now I have a question for you. Which way is west compared to north? Mostly because I can see Aaron doing a lot of hand waves and I want to see if Aaron I'm can I'm doing the out. never eat shredded wheat thing in seconds. You want to turn, turn left from north. Left from north, yeah. yes. Or 270 degrees right. That's another way. <laughs> or 180 degrees from the way Jenny was walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Do a 180 that way. It's like... I'm just gonna turn around. <laughs> but yeah, so you basically work out that you need to be walking the complete opposite way to the way Jenny has been walking towards you. A bit. 
Well, we were going to go to the playground. Do you guys want to come? It's going to be really fun. Like a children's playground? Probably. Either way, I feel like they need some more sort of people going with them because as much as I don't doubt your capabilities, uh, one, a child and one other person not exactly the best adventurers to go out into the wastelands. Maybe we should team up for a little while. I agree with that. Me, team, My accent team. is immediately going. <laughs> Says us who were not helpful at all with the roles that we've done so far. <laughs> so we'll help them. Yeah, I rolled a five. Whatever. It was so helpful. Okay, well. Jenny's going to start walking. In which direction? West. <laughs> Just to clarify again, which way is west? <laughs> the opposite direction to where I was going before. Hey. <laughs> Love Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you start walking. Now, about after the amount of time... Roughly, it would have been to walk to where Squishy was, you reckon. Roll me perception. Is this just, just genuine? Is that everybody? Uh, everybody, because if you don't perceive this, we have a problem. <laughs> so, please, everyone, because I've got eight. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I've got, yeah, I've got a nice one. Uh, Fourteen. So okay, uh, so Sal and Tana, you would realize as you're walking, there's just suddenly a chasm. Can and I immediately just like Jenny's just yeah. walking. Jenny has not noticed. Did Squishy like break the ground beneath them? <laughs> um, um, Mao also mean, hasn't noticed, so Jenny is just going to walk Mao off, by the way. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, hands on the shoulders. Yeah, Mao's like, currently Mao. doing, like, the airplane thing, like, wee! <laughs> just like, nope! <laughs> <laughs> they both look at each other like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you yeah. grab and stop him. And yeah, you can see, like, now as well, Jenny. If you hadn't been stopped, you would have walked straight off a enormous cavern, like chasm, and just there. straight down. The ground has basically just split open, and you can assume that's where the rumbling was coming from now. Um, it's like a good like fifty feet across this chasm that you would need to get now. And the chasm seems to extend quite a ways in both directions. And it's... you can't see the bottom. Can we see Squishy on the other side, or...? You can't I... see Squishy. It seems that, like... Squishy moves at quite a good pace compared to walking. Yeah. So Squishy must have already, like, kept going elsewhere. And you'd also have it in your mind, like, you need to... Uh, Make sure you kind of try and remember where this was, because this is your now best landmark for finding Squishy again. Wasn't here before. I was just here. But, um, badly do you two want to get to this playground? Well, oh. but also our landlord is. Probably on the other side. Oh. Now see, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, anyone got any way of getting across? I do, but I don't think I'd be able to take everyone across. A rope, but it's only 50 feet long. Uh... I can try and fasten it on the other side if you want to try and, I don't know, tightrope, or I've also, I believe, uh, let me just check my, <laughs> check my, what my, uh, my pack has. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, no, yeah, I do have some fi a 50 foot of rope as well, so. Same, if we need it. We have 100 feet of rope. Um. How how far is the chasm across? Just About 50 feet. Okay. Um... So it might be nice to have the extra length just in case. Yeah, yeah. tight rope isn't quite the best. It's not ideal. I do love your method, your idea of just like, oh yeah, let's tightrope it. I'm like, well, <laughs> how he was... was carrying a small child. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will say, Mao is actually like pretty dexterous, all things considered. But I also Mal don't know if I would trust Mao to walk across on their own. I can try and carry people across, but I'm not the particularly the strongest person. Well. How can you carry? Oh, when the tightrope is there, then you can carry people across. So, uh. I can carry, but I don't know if I can tightrope. Well, as a dragonborn, I have the ability to fly. It's. Yeah. Oh, helpful. Okay. Well, yeah, very helpful. Only for a short period of time. It's... But, yeah, as I said, I'm not as strong as carriers, so. Whether or not I'd be able, I mean, I'll probably be able to take Mao across, but you two, not so, not so sure. Oh, no, we get it. <laughs> Racial ability. <laughs> looks like, looks like like magic to me. I've just checked. I actually do have a compass because <laughs> I have navigation <laughs> tools, so I have a compass. It makes it so much funnier that Jenny was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> Yeah, I have one. Oh god. Yeah. Just a question. The flying, is that like actual wings or is that like just like your uh, body would stop around? So as a gem dragonborn, I have uh, an ability called gem flight. Mm. I can manifest spectral wings on my body, but in sort of in this flavour, it's gonna be pretty much I've got pretty much a collection of what seems to be like shards of sapphire. And sort of the which is sort of like not sort of not strapped to my back, but sort of like sort of like are loosely attached to my back. And sort of when I activate the ability, they just sort of like reverberate out a little bit. So it's like a yeah, like a, just some um, like a force energy is just like making these sort of like wing like shards, or like these shards into sort of the bones of a wing kind of thing. Cool. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything that can help right now. All I have that's helpful is is the rope. Yeah, I've got a rope too. Okay, we have a hundred. You got rope. Of How rope. much rope you want to use? C and D parties <laughs> in any problem. Rope. Choice A, I have dark vision. Choice B, I have rope. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of the two? I'm googling what calipers are. I have those. Oh, there's you also, can use them to like measure things. There's all we also have uh, pitons, which are like things that you put into the side of a wall to help climb, I believe. Uh, yeah. So if we do fall, it's not completely the end of the world. Finn <laughs> says jump it, you yeah. can make it. <laughs> oh, God. 50 feet, yeah. Sure. 50 I think feet even jump. like a level 20 Harangan couldn't make this jump. Uh, I literally have nothing. Ooh. I will say, you guys can walk around it. It will just take quite a long time. That's the quittest way out. We're going to jump this thing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I swear. Wasteland has it to the phone. Can, can <laughs> I. Do I get an idea of how long it would take to go around it? Uh, roll perception. See if you can actually... Not perception. I'm not see. good at perceiving. I can just fly across. I... <laughs> You're the people here with a problem. Don't... <laughs> wow. Let's see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> what like, happened to this five minutes ago? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a just leave. <laughs> It's like, I could take Mao across, but it's like, it's just, how are we going to get you two across? So, yeah. it, it looks like it would probably take you at least half a cycle, if not a whole cycle, to walk around it. And what you would know from what people on 
people have said, all of you, is that the longer you're in the wasteland, the more dangerous it gets. No one yeah. really knows why. It just seems to be a thing out here. The longer you're here, the worse it tends to go for people. It's unheard of for people to survive more than like a week out here, really. Um... be too out of the way. Go um, around. Yeah. But we just gotta think about uh if my only worry is losing squishy if we take too long to go around. Are we current we wouldn't be heading in the same direction as Squishy would we? Probably not, but what I will say is like finding squishy like so far, it seems to have almost been, like, too easy to find Squishy. It's kind of like Squishy's been looking for you, or, okay. like, something's been bringing you back there. So, so I wouldn't adorable. worry too much about that. Okay. Um. Maybe we just go around then, and, um, if you guys want to fly over, then we can meet you over in the playground if you want. Wait, you're gonna split the pie? I'm suggesting it. Options. I, well, yeah, these leaves being we, mild with a stranger. We don't oh, have yeah, to do no, a... <laughs> just like, oh yeah, it's just a random dragon ball. Yeah, oh, you'd say this child. <laughs> don't get on the back of a stranger's thing. <laughs> For all we know, the dragonborn eats children. Like... <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, you're you're certainly not. Oh yeah, don't get in the back of a stranger's car. It's like... <laughs> Something tells me Mal has not like had the a stra uh, stranger danger. Like no. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> okay. Stranger, will I? <laughs> uh, another idea I have is more or less a kind of swing to a degree um, huh. in which I f fly over with uh, one bit of rope uh, sort of hammer a, the rope into the other side uh, and or well two, bi two bits of rope we have and then sort of you pretty much you yeah <laughs> you fly down pretty much towards the cliff and then you pull yourself back up Pause and I can try and help you that way but it's whether or not you want to take the damage of slamming straight into a cliff face, or if you want to try and chance going over a tightrope. That's, or at least that's the two things I have in my mind. It sounds very dangerous. Yeah. Well, generally, the, yeah. It's, you can't always walk around, but yeah, that's a yeah long distance. I reckon we take a vote on it. Who wants to stay here and then who wants to go around? So, who votes to try and get across with the rope? Okay, great. We're taking the long way around. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone's like, rope sounds dangerous. Let's just. Oh, no, no, no. I, he's like, he was only putting out ideas that. Yeah. Thing, you know, it's just like, oh, it's a way to get across quickly. Oh, absolutely. It's like, he's not going to put other people in danger, like, hmm, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, just go over this chasm for. I think Jenny is only just starting to realize the responsibility that he has for this <laughs> child. <laughs> He's never oh, been responsible for another person's life before. And then goes, hang on, the things that I would do, maybe we'll not do. Um, so we're going to walk around. Fair. I guess it's not your child, which definitely kind of <laughs> changes things too. Like... <laughs> If, if like, it was Jenny's say, child, maybe do. different risk, but... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you kind of have this talk and stuff and eventually decide to start walking around it. 
And yeah, it takes you like half a cycle to reach the end of this chasm. And you can see why like the two sides kind of pinch back together. And the ground this side is, it's like nothing's ever happened. It's like this chasm has always been here and it was never going to go any further. It's a bit strange. Um, and you are able to like make your way past it and continue heading west. Woo, um, no rolls need. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're just walking. Yeah. And I have a compass, so I know which way is west. <laughs> Thank God you do. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now that I've remembered, I have a compass. And yeah. so with that, you start heading west again. And <laughs> hey, Finn, if you're here, do you want to roll a d10? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Just to make sure, like, it's been half a cycle, and. That's a like good enough time for things to change around here. Um, but as you start kind of heading further as well, just if someone can make like a general like survival check, just see how you're doing. See how the party is handling things. Oh, 16. Okay. Yep. Things are... Like, you guys are feeling alright. You haven't yet had to take a ration today. But you're definitely, like, getting there. You're, you'd be, like, starting to flag at this point. But, like, you've got, like, an amount of time to go. It's quite hard to tell how far things are when you didn't ask anyone where it is. <laughs> Don't really know where you're going. Yeah. Um, yeah. And as you continue, things seem to be a lot calmer around the wasteland. It seems like the wasteland is in a better mood. And at the end of the day, please sub subtract one ration as you take a long rest. I take one off now. Da -da -da -da. Um, yeah. New day. Um, I'd say you probably have a good feeling about today. Wasteland was in a good mood last night. That tends to be a good sign. Uh, that being said, uh, Jenny and Aaron, roll me a d10, please. Let's see how it's going as you start heading off for today. Hey, let's go. A zero on the thing is a ten, right? Yes. Ten. Three. I believe that's the same number we had uh, earlier in our game. <laughs> because we had got four and a nine. But... If you're adding them, yeah. I don't yeah. know if these guys are adding or not. That's true. That's very true. Why Why add when, when you've got a <laughs> two D10s instead of a D20? Mm. Mm. I got a special little chart for these. Um... So you start heading out and walking. Um, it is starting to get really cold. However, you can now start to see something in the distance. There seems to be almost like a kind of big metal wall somewhere. Like, again, like about half a cycle out. And you can see, like, kind of towers around the edge of it seem to be it's almost like a fortress but it doesn't look malicious it doesn't look unfriendly it just looks like these are walls to keep things out not keep things in um but like yeah it more looks like to protect from the other random things that live out here than like other people It's starting to get freezing. Uh, 
I have a feeling it's still affecting me because I can't really say that I'm cold blooded <laughs> at this point in the game. <laughs> yeah, that like this is the sort of temperature where being cold blooded, you're starting to feel really tired, like lethargic. Yeah. Like if it was really hot right now, you'd be vibing. You'd be like way more energized than usual. But like you just want to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd start hibernating, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> if it gets any colder, you might have to. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, I think that's that. Hey, I need to shit. Uh, there's someone revving a really loud car out my window. It's breaking my brain yeah. when I'm trying to remember <laughs> these checks. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I'm in my mom's car. No, we, 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 just need to, we just need to do brum brum every time. Ah! <laughs> the only trying to do a check. We will just forget <laughs> everything he needs to do. Brum brum brum. No one checks. Get out of the car. Sorry. Aww. Okay. Get out of the car. The problem with being at a desk, rather than when I'm like in person, I can just spread out all my D&D &D stuff because I have to actually use the books. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, ooh, that's cool. Um, okay, please make me a constitution check as it is continuously getting colder. Just a, just a check or save? Uh... Save. Just, Sorry. Just to realize it doesn't make any difference to me, but anyway. <laughs> oh no. 13. Mm -hmm. That does not look like a good expression. 17. <laughs> oh no. Okay. That, that one. Uh, oh, no. oh, I need to do Mal as well. Please roll good Mal. And I missed the dice tower. I'm potent in constitution saves. To be fair, you are like mostly metal, so like it's probably yeah, not well. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, Leon! What did you? <laughs> the children are gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mao just passed because Mao oh. gets a plus six to this. <laughs> Damn. So why? Why am I gonna die? Oh no! <laughs> um, you take. One level of exhaustion. Okay. Oh no. Okay. What does that do again? Uh, so exhaustion. This is a disadvantage on ability checks because it's one level of exhaustion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe I should. I should have my is little it? cards with me over there. The other yeah. side of my room. Oh, the cards are so cool. <laughs> that is gonna be. A pain in this session with the mm -hmm. like, majority of them being ability checks. You might be able to find something that staves off the exhaustion when you get where you're going, to be fair. Mm. Um, okay, cool. But yeah. Otherwise, for this cycle, you're. It's very cold. Mm -hmm. um, I will need you to make the check again once more as you arrive towards this structure. Cool. Because. It's still Everyone, like a, a, yeah, because it's still like a couple hours out. Okay, seventeen. That's what that's meant to look like. And Mal got on that one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! no I got seven. Thirteen. Okay, so everyone but Sal and Jen, <laughs> you get a level of exhaustion. Oh god. And yet, Mao is like, Mao's <laughs> lips are blue. This child is freezing. I, I don't know what, how, 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 but other than shivering, like, I can't really, like, he's already blue. I can't say, oh yeah, his lips are blue. It's like, he's already <laughs> blue! I mean, you're a dragon, so you're, you'd probably be getting very tired too. That yeah. like, cold blooded energy is just being sapped away from you into the environment oh. around you. I feel like all of Jenny's like 
joints and like the little like nuts and bolts that hold them together are like a little bit like they're not quite moving right a little bit brittle <laughs> little bit brittle it's like yeah yeah it's kind of like a nasty like scraping as like frost cracks off bits when you move mm -hmm. and you eventually arrive at this structure and now what you can see is as i said there's like this kind of corrugated like rusted metal wall around the place um you would also see i should have put this better here on the walls there's like a kind of gatehouse and on the walls oh, no. you can see this symbol ignore the post-it note that's just to cover something else up. Right. Ground. Oh, it's like a that's a slide. Oh, all right. Got you, got you. And you can see that symbol kind of either side of the gate. Well, I I guess that means that the playground's in there then. Well, <laughs> and then Sal Alex in chat just like, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh. Um. Yeah. Um. So, as you're standing there, as well, you would see kind of like a beam of light kind of get angled at you from one of these kind of towers either side. Um, gates and everything are closed, aren't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jen, you would hear yeah. in your head a voice that just says, State your business. And then I'll say out loud, I'm just going to the playground. I we'll want to play. What business do you have in the playground? Playing. Huh. Okay then. And then the voice seems to kind of go dark. And after like a minute of you just standing in the cold, oh cat. <laughs> like just <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was about to say, I saw that door so like swing open a little bit. It's like I know it's kind of like a jump scare. Oh. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. No, get off me! Way. Get off me! Switch. <laughs> the best way to derail a session. <laughs> Ophelia um, is playing the role of Squish currently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. As you're standing there in the cold for like a good like long minute, you would then hear the sounds of like scraping metal chains as the gates start to slide open. And once they're about the width of like a person apart, you would just see someone standing the other side gesturing you to get in. Don't have to tell us twice. Do you want to leave? <laughs> she wants an obsession with my dice, so she's trying to like hit my dice around. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that'd be a great way to roll. Just get the cat. Yeah. You don't need like I'm a sure. dice tower or anything. You just need a cat. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. With that as well, I will give you all a map. Look at me being prepared Ooh. for once, people. I made a map. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I will put it up on stream in a sec. I just need to press Ooh. a button. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, Alex. The minute that the cat rolls, we're gonna get a nat twenty. <laughs> Not leaving them alone. <laughs> she keeps coming back up to play with the dice. So this is the map you find yourselves on. 
uh, you'd be just down here where the entrance is. And um, this person, as you walk in, they'd kind of hand you what seems to be like a leaflet with this map on it. Um, they just kind of look at you all and be like, You're new here, aren't you? Just a little, yeah. Our friends here wanted to play in the playground. Um... I hate to break it to you, this isn't really that sort of playground. Playground, is it? Uh... It's more of a working playground, if you get what I mean. Um, we do have some toys and stuff. Uh, the child here is welcome to use them during playtime, but, um... I gotta warn you, this isn't the best place to be right now. We don't typically allow tourists. Broken my head. Huh? Like, do I know that they spoke in my head, or do I think that they just spoke out loud? Uh, you would know it was in your head. Whether you okay. want to point that out is... Yeah. Up to you. Is that weird for me or not? I mean, it's kind of weird. Magic's not real. Yeah. Why? Why? Why did you let us in then? If it's not for tourists. Well, I mean, we weren't gonna let you freeze in the wasteland, were we? Seems a little well, mean. Some of the other guilds might, but uh, usually at least we're above that sort of thing. Thank you. Uh, that being said, you will need to uh, prove to us that we will work right to let you in. Prove it how? Uh, I mean, you don't really have a process for this. Normally, people prove themselves outside of here, and then we invite them here. Don't know how you found us. Went west. How the fuck did you find us? We went west. The, the west is a whole quarter of the world. In fact, it's more than that, because relatively, you could just keep going west forever. Well, it, it was, this was west from where we were. Who even and told we were... you we were in the west? We don't really, like, uh, have a little podcast where we tell everyone where we are. That's not... What's a podcast? I don't know. Well... Word people keep talking about, I don't know. That was radio. I don't understand. You just found the playground. Well, we were looking and then we found it. Huh. Right. Well, uh... Anyway, um... Yeah, normally people prove themselves and we invite them to the playground pretty hard to get here without one of these and they'd hold out what seems to be like a compass but instead of being made out of like kind of steel and iron and like quite cheap materials it's like a very ornately engraved one with the same hexagonal sing symbol of a slide on it um it seems to kind of like glow while they hold it up. Ready? Uh, thank you. But yeah, hold up and... my compass, and I'm like, I just use this one. Yeah, that shouldn't have been it... enough. It's not. Well, See, uh, I don't... we're not always in the same place, you know. The playground is a nomadic society. 
it's dangerous to be in the wasteland anywhere for too long. And, but move. we mitigate that by staying on the move. With the walls and everything, you move this entire place. Yeah. Not super often. It's a bit of a job, but uh, anytime we hear rumblings that one of the other guilds is after us, one of the raiders, if there is a landlord coming anywhere near our territories, uh, if we just need to kind of run down the counter again, if we've been in one place for more than a month, then real bad things start happening, so we move. We pack everything up. We've got some creatures that help us, and we get moving. The only way. That is kind of the wasteland for you. We heard a few rumblings a little bit ago, and then there was a canyon, so yeah, like you said, not safe. Mm. Yeah. We seem to be luckier than most out here, but uh, yeah. Never worth risking it. If we are uh, flipping your system of we found our ways here and don't you know how, why did you let us in? Like I said, we don't let people die out here. It is not part of our culture. And under our ideals we do not believe in that sort of thing. As long as we keep a balance and don't let too many people in, a little mercy is fine. Might be looked on fondly, if anything. Well, how do we prove ourselves, then? Um, I mean, you could help us with something. Uh, we've got a bit of a problem at the moment. Problem? Uh... We're not sure what caused it, but there's some sort of illness going around. Um, we're trying to find the source so we can stop it, because if we get moving again and people are still this ill, we're going to lose people. And we need to get moving soon. It's a problem, but we really don't have... A solution right now. We can do our best. What are the kind of symptoms of this illness? And it starts like a regular cold, and then if you survive it, then there's some weird stuff that happens. Um, it kind of lowers his voice and moves closer. It's just like, it especially affects magic users. Oh, that's funny. Magic ain't real. They kind of just give you this look like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, turn to the others. And, I'm just like, Your friend here is funny. Um, yeah, it tends to be worse for magic users, it seems. Or, um, like, younger ones. We lost quite a few kids when it first showed up. Uh, but we're trying to... We're trying to find a way to stop it. We've kind of contained it, the the medical area. You'll notice some big tents over there, and they kind of gesture in one direction. And you can see like, some very big kind of, like, almost like circus tents. And like, yeah, they as they gesture to those, they're just like, these weren't um, always here. But they are where we're trying to keep the quarantined. It doesn't seem to be contagious 
as much as we think, though. There, we obviously we got some people who had to keep working, and no one else seems to caught it from them. Who's getting it seems to be almost random. We're not sure why or where it's coming from. But um, if you'd be willing to help us, I can sponsor you for entry for a couple cycles. I can keep it off book before anyone starts asking any questions. But eventually, someone's going to start asking me why I let you in here. And I need to be able to give them a good reason. Is that understood? Hmm. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Good. And don't let me regret it. We are one of the biggest guilds around here. And... Let it be known, you fuck with one of the Playground Corporation, you fuck with all of us. There is no mercy for external affairs. Okay. Cool. Well, if that's all understood, um, I could be on my way. Uh, I've got some work to be seen to um enjoy your stay like i said stay out of trouble oh um i should probably give you this and they kind of fish through their pocket and they'd hand you what seems to be the same sort of emblem um i'm gonna need it when you leave uh we don't give these out freely but um if anyone wonders who you are questions your status here as long as you can show them that they should back off we do have some other visitors but um normally we know why they're here unless someone else has done a knee and snuck them in which uh, kind of supposed to be my thing so i don't know i mean it happens though we appreciate the help anyway cool um, Thanks for letting us in and and saying hi in my head. Yeah, uh, yeah, no worries. Um, I hope you are able to help us because this thing's okay. really bad, and I'm starting to get worried. We'll certainly work on it. Don't worry. Hmm. Well, good luck, everyone. Um, it just kind of waves and walks back to like what seems to be like a guard hut. And as he does so, you'd see the gate start to close behind you. I just love how it's like, he's fully threatening us, and we're just there taking notes like, yep, uh-huh, cool. <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> this is great information, keep going. It's like, oh my god, lore, yes, keep going. Okay. We're like, yeah, we will kill you. <laughs> I'm so surprised there hasn't been an insight check yet this session. <laughs> yeah. Jenny doesn't do insight. I'm yeah, no one incited the guy. You didn't even get his name. Nope. Yeah. This is something. To be fair, we don't have each other's names yet. No. no. This is something about Jenny. Jenny will probably never incite anyone because Jenny trusts everyone. Uh, yeah, they shouldn't. But they do. But they do. <laughs> I also just want to say the podcasts that people came up with in the comments, I love. And that's why I've been yeah. giggling off with you, the really important, like, this is so sad speech. I was like, oh no, people are dying. Oh, but those podcasts are really good. <laughs> Is the whole thing of like if this was like actually well known, there'd have to be like fucking magic isn't real much. Like <laughs> it's funny seeing the idea of it going around. I find that show. Back in for another. <laughs> <laughs> Today's topic is how to there's this weird it. illness going about, which everyone's making a fuss about. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, Cannon. Absolutely. Good. 
Okay, let's hear that. Not here. That's why they haven't been eight inside chest. Yeah. I think probably. probably oh, another, yeah. Another, another reason why, or at least my character hasn't been inside checking, or at least from the information they've been given, there's he doesn't have anything to compare it to. So it's like, is there like, mm, would it be yeah. lying? Or, he needs to sort of check with some other people first and sort of see if it's mm, so worth. Yeah. Sal's just said like, oh, yeah, free mm. shit, we're getting in, cool. I ain't gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, what, was the, what was the free thing that we were given? Was it, was it, We've uh... given a map and an emblem for the uh, playground corporation. All right. And it depends who will let in hold on to the map. That's uh, the question. Intrigued by everything on the map. Yeah. I'm like, I know we need to go to medical, but like, Market. <laughs> oh my god, so many bad things are happening. Shopping trip. Oh my god, it's shopping. <laughs> Who knows? There might be supplies to help us there. Yeah. Also, the one on the left, did it say bit or be? Huh? The 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 building on the left, did it say bit or B? B H. Okay, cool. Because I I was looking at my phone screen, it was very small. So I read B on Clave. So I, I just thought it was a place for the bees. Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah, BH, that makes a lot more sense. Bees on Clave. BH. But what does BH stand for? Mm. No idea. So, yeah, <laughs> so medical is off to the right. There we are. Yeah. Oh, what would we see what? when we look towards the play site? Mm. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, you need to roll perception because you're not there. <laughs> you're all going like, there. Yeah, I, I, I was just wondering <laughs> what I could see from sort of where we from are. From here, like... you can just see more like metal covering around something. Oh, You'd okay. see more of those symbols of like slides around it, though. Oh, not bad. I got a 17. Uh, yeah, um, so I guess you've managed to find, like, a spot where you can get a bit of height and see a bit over it, and you would see what seems to be, like, a kid's playground, but it's very rusty, and there also seems to be, like, quite a few very large opossums just, like, walking around the place. Just kind of wandering about. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anyone playing on it right now. Are we saying very large? What do we mean? Uh, like, these are like horse size. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, totally cool. Totally normal. Yeah. Okay. We should probably start heading over to the medical. I think it's the best bet. Is that where you'd like to go? I mean, unless people want to go shopping. <laughs> but they're probably watching us pretty closely. Oh, the guy walked off. Mm. And. I don't think anyone else knows we're here. That is true. True, but he also said that we should be sort of like trying to find a reason for us to stay, kind of thing. Hmm. So it should be probably one of our first objectives to find that reason. And also, I'm going to put little Luigi for your little token. Nice. And yes, finding out what the illness is doing is probably one of the first things we should do. Yeah, it probably sounds like a good idea. But games! Playing! Mal looks no. very disappointed, by the way. We gotta help the people who are dying first. Isn't that mm. fun? No! Let's play with Mao whilst we're or whilst we try and find a place to or should we split up maybe or we could. I'm not gonna be much help 
in medical. That's fair. You can keep the kid entertained because I'm not good with kids. No offense, kid. Um, why why don't we phone? go to the playground, Mal, and and they can playground. do the um the boring stuff. Yeah, boring stuff for adult people. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh yeah. I only have one character who canonically actually likes children. <laughs> Probably the others like ill. No. My my character doesn't like children. Do, does like children? It's just gonna make this for the second group. So horse-sized, like how many horse-sized possums did I see when I looked over there? Uh, like three or four. Too threatening. No. Oh. You could I'll incite a possum, I guess. I'm going. I. So you and Mao are heading over to the play site. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. As you go over there, you'd see that there's kind of like a route in around. Hmm. <laughs> Through the metal walls. And inside seems to be a lot of toys and play equipment. Um, what if the uh, have the opossums like seen us? Yeah, they don't seem concerned. They don't seem to really care. They seem to be cool. like grazing, just kind of wandering around. And you can see that some of the larger ones have little baby opossums, like, grabbing onto their backs. Or, like, following them in the little line. Cool. Um, then I will... I'll put... Um, I'll put Mao down. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'll say, Okay, where... What, what do you want to play on first? Let's... Let's go. Mao would kind of run towards one of the baby opossums out of curiosity. curiosity. And they're going to try and give it a hug. They're going to try and give it a hug. Well, also, uh, well, you get an echo yeah, from someone? Yeah, it might be me. Sorry. No worries. Um, um, just trying to work out if there's anything I can do. Uh, seems to stop, though. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Just try and keep yeah. track of audio problems if we have. Um, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so, so I have these. I have like auto captions on because it's like a yeah. good accessibility thing. And when I said keep track of, it said drag a body. <laughs> the auto yeah, so bad on Twitch. So yeah. Funny. It's also because I mumble a lot. It's just I, I love seeing it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, Mao is going to run after one of the baby opossums and try to pet it. Which is something exciting to roll out. We'll follow closely. This going to be I a think, great idea, guys. I think when they were going off in that direction, Tana would have been sort of like looking, keep trying to keep eye, eye track with them as whilst they were going towards medical. It's like. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. <laughs> it's like, it's sure like... fine. So, uh, Mal rolled very low. Oh, for pets. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just grab something. Not me nearly breaking everything on my shelf. I have so many random things in this room. Like, uh, I have a little jar of plastic babies. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, okay. I just need to work out something. Uh, so yeah, they try and pet the opossum. Um, doesn't seem to, to mind. Uh, but Jenny, you would see that its mother definitely does. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see if it hits. <laughs> uh, 
Yellow hits. Okay. We should have put a bit more effort in saying, saying, oh yeah, the medical tent is fun, yeah. It's like, definitely don't go over to the very, quite obviously dangerous playground area, which, like, if they went on any of the rides, right, probably going to get tetanus or something like that. It's like, oh yeah. Tetanus? Mal takes nine <laughs> damage as the mummy it's opossum like, bites oh, yeah, them. They're all rusty, it's like... Oh, no. Do you get a sense of how yeah. how strong and constitute our little Mao is? Mao's constitute. I knew that. Uh, Mao's pretty healthy. Okay. For someone who's somehow been living entirely on their own for presumably years. Yeah. Mao's looking pretty healthy. They're not like but, near death. No, Mao is not bloodied or anything. But upon cool. being bitten, Mal just starts crying. Um, I'll pick Mal back up. <laughs> um, the big opossum is also just like walking away. Like that was very much like a warning bite. Okay. Maybe we don't touch the opossums and we just play away from them, just us. No, okay, but it's fluffy, like squishy. No, let's pet squishy instead. Mm, squishy's not here. Well, a little squish. Yeah, and they're just gonna hold out their arms, a little squish. And I'll give them the the plushie back. They're just gonna like hug it very tightly. <laughs> While this interaction is going on. How are our other two doing? Blissfully unaware. Currently. <laughs> yeah, so you two have head over to medical, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you would basically see what seems to be a load of repurposed, almost like kind of circus tents. They're like these really big, big top tents. And inside you can just see people like lying on the floor in varying states of wellness um and you can see quite a few people who seem to be in like a kind of uniform all again with this little badge on them like kind of frantically rushing between them people like putting like cold compresses on people's foreheads and stuff and taking people's temperature and it seems very stressful um the atmosphere in here is pretty dire. I think... How do we go about this? Is there like a sort of like a... Obviously not like a... Like a... Not head nurse, but sort of like... Someone who seems to be keeping track of the sort of records and sort of... Or at least some kind of receptionist, maybe. I'm not sure how to best describe it, but yeah. Uh, so it doesn't seem like there's a receptionist. It seems like each person walking around is like kind of taking their own notes of like they're kind of working almost in like sectors. But also you kind of get the vibe like it's so busy in here it's probably quite hard to like take notes. You're probably too busy trying to do the job to write about the job. Hmm. That's how they go about it. Maybe we see what they need and go from there. Hmm. Yes, I have that will sort of just walk around, sort of observing. But yes, either works. Very good. Let's go with yours first. We'll extend our hand for help. Sounds oh. good. I was just gonna look around and try and find one of the less busy ones at that moment and just sort of uh, see if she can talk to them. Mm -hmm. Um, hi, excuse me. Um, we're kind of here to help if anyone needs a hand. Uh, hello, um, what did, did Jake send you? No. Then what are you doing here? Unless who's Jake? Um, we might have been by Jake. We didn't ask the name. 
party authority up in the other end of the place. But if you don't know him, you probably haven't met him. Like, uh, what are you... What spells do you know for healing? Well, you're funny. Um, no. We're here to, like, help medically. Yeah, what spells do you know for healing? Like, homemade remedies and stuff? I mean, maybe they'll work better than anything else. I don't know. We haven't really tried. We've heard that uh, these illnesses generally are worse for magically affected people. Is this... Yes. Uh, does this mean that some of the nurses may, or nurses and doctors may be a little more vulnerable? Or... Well, as far as we can tell, it doesn't seem to spread person to person. We're not quite sure where it's coming from, but it's like I've been working here for a week. I haven't caught it off any of the patients it's just just a lot we're getting more people every day we don't know why now so that's if you ask me if someone's doing it on purpose well I mean the person who talked to, talked to us said that there was no correlation between the people who got ill either not that we know of, but honestly, we haven't really had time to ask anyone if whoever you're talking to says that. Maybe that's true, but I don't know if they've been really, like, talking to anyone, you know? Well, I think that's step one, then. We'll talk to a few people, see uh, what's going on, and then make them a bit of soup. See, see if, if we can clear that cold right up. I don't need correlation. If you think it'll work... Like, I'm open to any suggestions at this point. Talking around might be a good idea, then. Mm-hmm. Right, well, uh, you, you get back to what you were doing. Yeah. We can split up and see what we can do. You see this woman kind of clap her hands together as, like, this kind of crackling energy appears. And she just, like... She basically just like slaps this person on the face and they seem to wake up. And then she just like walks on to the next person. Man, that is like just it's crazy. We all need a slap nurse every now and again. <laughs> they have one in every hospital, yeah. <laughs> right, so shall we split up and see what we can do? Mm, actually yeah, me... maybe stick together mm. get the same notes make sure we t speak to the same people okay. maybe do you reckon they'll know which was the first infected we can go from there if they're not you know possibly but given the sort of uh, how severe some, like how severe some of them are I'm and from the the way that there's been so like quite a bit of a hectic and it's not fear about it, but maybe the, that person's already may not be in a way to talk at the moment, but we we can certainly see. That's a good point. We'll be we'll be gentle about it. Hmm. After you. So yes, uh... <laughs> uh, so while you're walking over there, we will check in on Jenny a sec. So yeah, um, you've basically been standing here for like 10 minutes as Mal very reluctantly has agreed to not pet the possums again and is now playing on the slides and things. Um, mm -hmm. That would definitely be in the back of your mind, like this fear of like, there are so many ways to get tetanus right now, um, <laughs> but like Mal seems to be having a good time, um, oh. like, yeah, they're they're just going around on equipment, 
And then there would be kind of a moment you all, in fact, would hear, like, the sound of some sort of, like, gong signifying, like, time of some sense. And then you'd suddenly hear, like, a kind of cheering sound as, like, a wave of children just enter this area and start running around and playing on all the different things. You can see some of them, like, start jumping onto the back of the possums and riding them. Some of them are petting them, some of them are feeding them, and a lot are playing on the equipment. And there's always, like, a group of them who start to surround Mao and look at Mao very suspiciously. I am, like, I go straight over and, like, make sure I'm not missing anything. One of them just kind of walks up to Mao and they're like, Who are you? I remember you being here. And Mao's just like, I'm Mao. It's like, someone sneak you in here. Only good kids are allowed in the playground. That's what mum says. And Mao just kind of looks to you for support, looking very kind of unsure what to do. Good kids. We're allowed in. Who even are you? My name's Jenny. Hi. One of the other kids, there's like a kind of, more like teenager, kind of sidles up to you. And then they kind of, they try and look intimidating, but they're like two feet shorter than you. Just kind of look up and they're like, you're a bit big to be in the kid playground, aren't you? I mean, I'm not young enough. You don't know yeah. how old I am. Uh, normally, old people are big, though. Sometimes. All the time. All the time. No. They just kind of narrow their eyes at you. How old do you think I am? Uh... I don't know, I can't count that high. You're not very good at counting, then. No, Mum says I'm really good at counting. But I haven't done my, like, 25 times tables yet. If you can't count as high as how old I am, then you're not very good. Or you're just that old. Oh. This is like the most accurate argument between children I've ever seen. Oh gosh, it is, and it's like. Mm. You like the best retort because I know exactly what they're gonna try and do now. I just had the impulsive, like the intrusive thought to swallow this dice, and I had to stop myself so bad. <laughs> Not for eating. <laughs> you <laughs> are embodying the child of I, a I very got two young child yeah. who's just gonna <laughs> eat your nose, like. Oh my god! I I got way too in character. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna eat it because that's what Mao would do. Damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, we've all been there. But yeah, what are you doing? Why don't you just leave us to play and go and be rude to someone else? Someone your own age, maybe. Okay. But I'm taking this. Um... Oh yeah, their strength is definitely higher than Mal's. Uh, they steal, like they just grab little squish out of Mal's hands and start walking across the playground. And go, uh... 
Like run after and try and grab it back. Oh, uh, yeah, you can try. You gotta roll contested strength. Okay. So fast well, us child, just but... leaving these two children in the playground is like, mm, yeah, nothing will go wrong. Just have a good idea. Is that just a strength check? Uh, yes. Which you I have, have disadvantage on right now. Oh no. Oh. Um. So that's fifteen. I got sixteen. <laughs> This is a negative as well. <laughs> uh, also, for record, Mao is just crying right now again. No. And yeah, you try and grab it, and they just like yank and just keep walking. And now they're laughing as well. Can I try again? Like, what can I do? Uh, in general, I'd say you've got to do something different now. Yeah. Can I? God. Come on. Um... Oh, no, it's not good. Do it. <laughs> Can I... <gasps> Can I rage and then try again? I may have accidentally flipped off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, because if I rage, then I have... <laughs> Holding it up with my fingers, and it's like I actually just hold it, hell started holding it up with my middle finger. <laughs> if I rage, I have advantage, so that would cancel out the disadvantage, right? Yeah, that would just be roll normal. Okay, so if I rage, I have to do wild magic, <laughs> which oh, I guess no. I'm gonna do. I don't want to attack this child, but also I need that black. So. That's a two on my wild magic. Um, and I teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space I can see. God, my brother kid, do it. Yeah, can I teleport like right in front of them and try and grab it back? Yeah, you see them like just like jump back. Um, Man, I could yeah. be a lot worse. Nat 20. Oh, uh, also they got a nat one and a minus one, so they got zero. <laughs> hey. So they were so scared. Like as you teleport, they basically just drop it. Yeah. And you're and able to just like snatch it out. Yeah, and I'm holding on. Hmm. I'm so glad we haven't had like a battle. Like we we've had to have a battle map for this. Uh, this is where we have. <laughs> Children. <laughs> you guys start attacking the children. I don't even know what to tell you at that point. Like, no, no, no. I was scared that the children would attack us. That's the thing. <laughs> you know, children, kind of thing. children <laughs> definitely have pack tactics. I'm oh, 100%. Yes, yeah, oh, really? 100%. Like, um, I was bullied enough at school to be able to be sure about that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I just, like, oh, I snatch it back and I just say, don't take things from people. And then I just mm -hmm. walk away back to mouth. Mm -hmm. They look really angry as you walk away and then kind of sad. I... Why am I yawning so much right now? <laughs> um, yeah, um, you return it to Mao successfully. Yeah. And I'll come out of the rage. <laughs> and at this Being point, I'm very angry at the kid. <laughs> Mal kind of calms down. He's like sniffling. He's just like, thank you. Okay. But they still kind of look a lot more like sad. They look a lot less excited to be here now. Do you want to go some somewhere else? We can do something else. They kind of nod and they're like, can we come back later though? Yeah. Mm. And they and just we'll... kind of like hug your leg. Yeah. <laughs> right, if they want, they can like stand on my foot and I can like walk yeah. on my foot. They will fully do that. Um, And we'll head out of the playground. Mm hmm. Playground. Okay. Um, let's touch base with the others again. So. Sorry. Like. Two seconds. That's that. This just gave me like a major like um, Full Metal Alchemist vibes. 
just like oh. robot robot brother and little brother just like mm. oh my it's god I was like... <laughs> but problem is is that the young one doesn't have a really uh, they're not like going to like full anger rage mode whenever they <laughs> don't control. know that Mao can't do that you guys don't um, even the, know what the... class Mao is <laughs> We know nothing about Mal. Mal's probably not even a child. You know nothing. <laughs> Mal's a four-year-old man who's just been lying to us the whole time. Yeah, we've actually we're actually opposite ages of what people think. Yeah. I'm the child and Mal's the adult. I kinda love hearing people's theories about Mal. Oh, I love it. Because I have very deliberately given you guys like nothing except very specific things. And the very specific things I've given, no one's investigated, so like... <laughs> but yeah, so, sorry for that little interlude, uh, DM. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so... You guys... Ah, again. <laughs> you guys have arrived around medical. And... What are you doing? Looking like I'm guess do they have like little sheets at the end of their bed that have like the medical information? Not really, no. Oh, it seems okay. that all the notes are with the people walking around. That's fair. Um. Well, in that case, I think we should just go to the nearest person. Oh, can nods and agrees and moves on. Uh, moves. They head to the nearest sick person. I could even take it. Everybody oh. has some water. <laughs> well, do. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> that is very warm water now. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's rough. That is, that is grim. Warm water. Yeah, it's is not nice not water good. anymore. <laughs> we no, had a thing here hydrate. where, like, we had a thing recently where, like, the water in our accommodation was just salty for some reason for, like, a day. No. And it made me no. so sad. Like, I thought there was something wrong with my water bottle. And then I washed out my entire water bottle, filled it up again, and was like, no, this is still salty. Went to the kitchen, filled it up there, and it was still salty. And I, I was just like, I just can't drink water today. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but just sometimes the water just says, no, 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 we're going to be a little bit different today. Mm. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm gonna change it up. I see. <laughs> <laughs> it made me so sad, though. Like, I genuinely really like water. Yeah. So that, like, ruined my day. And it was like, I was about to go to bed, and then it was just, no. oh no. <laughs> so I, I like water, but because of how much it changes, it's, it's like pushing me towards having squash and, like, things that just, like, sort of tea. It's just, having other things, not water. It's like, annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, what are you guys doing? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Water tangent. <laughs> Let's try and bring it back. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to find the nearest sick looking person and just mm -hmm. uh, be ready to politely talk to them. Yeah. So, you'd walk over to. Uh, where's, I have a little chart somewhere for, like, random race. <laughs> don't know where it is. Not a bad job. I always manage to lose these things. I'll have, like, a really useful chart, and then it just goes poof. Into oh, the yeah, no, I... The one time you need it, yeah. I think it's just because I, I... For me, at least, it's just because I have so many, so, like links and folders and every because i store a lot of my stuff online as like mm. links and it's like i i'll show like i've got there's like a dozen more than a dozen links for game master like more than a dozen links for books and databases like at least like 30 or 30 to 40 if not more links for list references <laughs> and that's that's only like that's only three out of like the dozen or so <laughs> like things. Ah, so many. Yeah. I don't know what happens to them. I had these things. Um, but anyway, you walk over to a uh, like 
seems to be like a middle-aged woman, some sort of like or a cockroach. Yeah, Sal is going to go to uh, walk on the side of the bed a bit and just be like, Hi, um, we don't mean to interrupt. Hope you're doing okay. We just wondered if we could talk to you for a sec. Oh, Ellie, is that you? No, ma'am, no, it is not. Ellie, I'm so glad you finally came to see me. No, she kind of sits up. And like reaches out to hug you. So I'll just so it doesn't think of oh okay. Um anyway, so how did you get like this? Well, Ellie, you see one day I was just feeling lovely in our lovely little house. And then I went to work and then we went to dinner. And all the regular things we do, I went to pick up the kids. I went by the the Beast Hunters Enclave for a bit, see what they had. And then it hit. I felt like absolute shit I did. And then I woke up in here without you, Ellie. I'm so oh. glad you're back. Yeah, back I am. So... The only different thing you did was the Beast Hunters Enclave? Mm, I think so. I don't know, you normally know what I do anyway, Ellie. So I was gonna look, uh, for help. Just so, like... Uh, Tanner is currently just, like, ve making very... not. Not making hundreds and uh, focus on the conversation, but more just assessing the sort of like the like the illness and sort of the reactions of it uh, itself. It's, mm -hmm. He's making notes about okay, so th this is what it's looking like. Okay, he's yeah, making, so he what the she seems to be like them. sweaty and quite warm. And while you're looking at her, you would see her like sneeze and then just like a like a kind of weapon that's like lying by her bed you can see like a pack that seems to be her things mm. seems to suddenly start shimmering like it has just been enchanted hmm Is it the, the, um, I, I sort of, uh, you sort of note now noticing, uh, Sal's like, uh, sorry, I can't, let me catch up before you want to begin. <laughs> so, somewhat under the breath, is like, make sure it's like, try and make sure only Sal hears it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, she seems to think I'm her daughter or something. Uh, we need to wrap this up and talk to some more people. I've got an idea of what might happen. Have you got notes? Yeah, I've got some notes, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, um, so I was going to look up. Ellie, yep. will you just sit with me for a little bit? I missed you. Okay, can I do an inside check to see how close this woman is to dying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna insight. I, how how much Why do they insight? know they're about to die? <laughs> what else would it be? Medicine? I don't medicine, know. Yes. Yeah, medicine. No, medicine. Medicine or investigation, if anything. Like, oh yeah, insight check them. See how much they know they're gonna die. I don't know if she's lying or not. <laughs> she might be saying she's better than she is. <laughs> Maybe she th she's lying about if she thinks that you're their daughter. <laughs> they just want someone next to them. Okay, let's try it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a seven on medicine. <laughs> Great, okay. That's pretty fine, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe she's gonna die in the next five minutes. 
can I also make a medicine check just because I am sort of overseeing mm -hmm. the body kind of thing? Nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, that yeah. is a yeah. That's a seven. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's like somewhere between about to die and about to get up and skip. I've I've been rolling terribly today. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> You're lucky it's a role place for heavy session. Oh, I know I had disadvantage. Let's see if it's any <laughs> No, it's the exact same. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot I was exhausted. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, I'm the only one rolling straight. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing. So. Probably get on that. I'm not done. Mm. Uh, Sal's gonna look down to the woman and say, Look, um, I've gotta go help the nurses with something because I'm helping out a lot of people right now. So if you could just let me by, I'm sure I'll be back very soon. The lady just seems to like stare through you in kind of a delirious daze. And, like, as she does, you see her, like, sneeze again, and, uh, for the next minute, you're immune to being frightened. <laughs> hey. And that's just my courage. Nothing happened. Uh, I'm starting to see what kind of character Sally is. <laughs> Yeah, sounds fun. Um, but yeah, uh, Sal's gonna try and shimmy her way out of uh, the, the hug, the grip. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back, I promise. No, Ellie. Ellie, I'll miss you. Uh, Ellie, you kind of walk away. I think you were asking some very good questions there. I think if we establish where they were beforehand, that will be very good. And also, if we can, I was taking notes about their condition, seeing what kind of, uh, yeah, see what kind of symptoms they have. But yes, there seems to be some kind of, yes, weird things going on. I think that's really good that you took notes on that because the last thing you want to do is accidentally ask someone who has a different disease and at that point mm. we're not getting anything uh so sal's gonna look around and uh just be like okay so who looks like they have the same afflictions and then mm -hmm. start looking around also sal's gonna quickly find a nurse okay and yeah. just say, look, hi, uh, you know that woman by there? You need to find her daughter ASAP. That's it. Water. That's that's what the next thing you need to do. I don't think she has a daughter, does she? Well, I don't know. She thought I was definitely someone, so you need to go find them. Well, who did she think you were? Great question. I've forgotten her name. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie, that was it. Oh, there Last a, of Us. That's why I had it in my head. Tana just like talking over your shot. Yeah, no, I took notes on that as well. Yes, Ellie. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Oh. Oh, I made a bad... Let's see if I can find her. Oh, they do not pay us enough for this. And she's just going to kind of march off in a direction. Just for the record, I couldn't have assumed that, so... Whatever. The first day of Pride Month, Theron. Wait, it's the second day of Pride Month. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! The first session of Pride Month. The first <laughs> session of Pride Month. Happy oh. Pride, everyone. Hey. For me, it's Spider Man Day. <laughs> it is Spider Man across the Spider Man. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just being released. Yeah, so do I. It's the last day. Yeah, it comes out today. I need to go watch that one. Yeah, so do I, but I can't, because I've got D&D &D to do. <laughs> You're such a kid with us. 
We can do it after the session. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're in two different countries, but that's fine. Hey, it's not my fault you chose to go to Wales. <laughs> you two go watch it in England. We'll watch it in Wales. Or we can yeah. meet in the middle. We'll watch it all at the same time. We gotta, like, sync it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm already going on Sunday without you, Erin. Sorry. How dare you? I know. That's so mean. The audacity. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to be in Wales. That's true. <laughs> it was a very last minute. <laughs> Aaron, the keeper of secrets and never telling anyone where they are. Do you think I prepare Aaron. these things in advance? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a you try and prepare worry, things in yeah. advance with Aaron and it just falls apart. Okay. <laughs> I mean, true, <laughs> but yeah. I'm spitting facts <laughs> only. <laughs> This is the call out part of the stream. There's <laughs> no in, there's, you know what? There's Let's no inside check. Right? <laughs> there's, there's no inside check in the session. It's just this is what happens when you get me and Aaron in a room and you realize, oh yes, these people have been best friends for five, five years. years. <laughs> uh, we We're can just digging on each other's deeper secrets. Yeah. We can do that, definitely. That's a mood, though. That's me and Nate. Yeah. Me and Nate, like, will literally meet up somewhere just so we can spill, like, a year's worth of gossip. It's great. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> we, we, all, we all know that one friend who, yeah, this is the gossip friend. Like, oh, everything in our life, yeah, we're just gonna spill it right to this person. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. D&D. Hey, &D. <laughs> the game. <laughs> um, what? Uh, yeah. So, over in the playground area, what are you doing right now? Well, we're just leaving the playground. So I was gonna ask now. Um, well, do we have the map, or do the others have the map? Uh, that's a good question. Who has the map? <laughs> I don't uh, think we took let's... it off you, so I think, yeah, I think Jenny still has it, but, uh, yeah. Cool. So if, I, if I have the map, then I'll show it to, I'll show it to Mao and say, so where do you want to go? Uh, uh, it was boring. We could go to the market and there might be something fun there. Maybe. 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 Let's Bye. find out. Mm. So we'll we'll head to the market. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you start wandering towards the market. Mm -hmm. Uh here you can see it's just like a you know how markets when we have like kind of aisles of stools? Yeah, uh, not here. It's kind of like there's just been an explosion of tables and they're just everywhere. Stools don't seem to have any like regulated order of any sort. They're just wherever they could be put currently. Um, there's just an assortment of smells and like sights around the place as people wander through it. What things are they selling? So there seems to be places selling food, selling yeah. potions, like sort of like that sort of thing. And also places selling like armor. Kind of like your general basics. It yeah. doesn't seem to be a horrendously fancy market. It seems like there's some stalls that would be selling more fancy things, but are currently closed because presumably the person is either ill or dead. <laughs> Not to sugarcoat it or anything. Yeah. Um. What do you want to buy anything, Matt? Do you have any money? Mm, what's money? Okay. Um. That's fine. I have a little bit. Um. Do you, do you want anything fun? Um, 
I don't know what they have. Sorry, I just <laughs> I, I just pulled out mean... Redeem as well. I was like, yeah, literally <laughs> too much right now. I'll assume it worked then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to see sound alerts are currently working. I thought I tested it for you. Also, what did it say? Huh? What did the sound alert do? It just plays like a sad violin. Oh. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're talking about the dead people, so. Oh, Here's right. the way that Mal was like, what's money? And then it just started playing. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, Mal's just like, uh, yeah, what's money? Okay, it doesn't matter. It's just something that some people use to get things from other people, I think. Okay. It's okay. Um... Are you hungry? We could get some food. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'll kind of take them over to the the food bit. Yeah, so you kind of find yourself in a corner of the market that seems to be more food-oriented. Um, there seems to be all sorts. You can see a place selling, like, kind of plants and, like, more, like, kind of fruity things. There's a, like, meat stall. In fact, there's quite a few different meat stalls. There's some that look like cow, chicken. One that's, like, another animal that has more legs than a chicken or a cow. Chicken. Um, there is also a stall that has been very brightly, like, painted that seems to be selling fish of some sort. Okay. Um, what do you like to eat? You eat a lot of fruit? We could get some fruit, or do you want to eat something else? Something else. Something else. Okay. Mm. Um, I'll kind of go for the miscellaneous meat. Okay. Is there, like, a store owner that I can talk to? Yeah, you can see, like, this seems to be like a little like kobold man <laughs> currently like frying this like eight legged creature on a spit. Um how much money for two? Two. For the two of them? Whole yeah. ones or do you want half ones? Um Half. So just one. Whole one. One whole one and two halves? No, one whole. One whole in two halves? Yeah. Alright, uh, that would be about 20 silver. Do you take change from gold? Why me? You got gold in here, do you? Should have upcharged you. Yeah, I'll do change. Um, and I'll hand him one gold piece. He kind of looks at it just like, why me? Don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Kind of stare yeah. Out. Can I change? Uh, four. I said two silver, right? Twenty? Oh, I meant to say two, because twenty so would be two gold. Yeah, okay, two. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, I'm, I'm pretty Especially sure. Especially because when you said that, you dead. gave them one gold, I was like, wait, did I said two then, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, wait a second. Um, yeah, so they'll give you eight silver back. Okay, so I have eight silver. Okay. Yes, okay, cool. Um, do we wait for it to cook, or... or... Uh, it'll be done in just a minute, lovey. And cool, thank you. They kind of get what seems to be like a polystyrene kind of 
takeaway box out from somewhere. Yeah. Put it down. And after a minute, they take one of these off the stick and just, like, hack it in half or something. And the meat inside seems to always be kind of, like, iridescent. And they split into these two plates, put them on, and they're just like, all right, uh, do you want any sauce on it or anything? Yeah, okay. Uh, what sauce do you want? We got plenty. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this isn't the sauce, I'm afraid. Um, oh. What? Well, I've met a lot of people where the answer to questions is just yes. Um. What? Like, the, there was this person that I met, and I was like, where are you from? And they said, yes. Right. Not sure that's the usual answer. I think okay. my friend might be a few nails short of a box. Maybe. Um, just, just whatever you recommend, please. Right, whatever I recommend. Ooh, what yeah. do I recommend today? Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Um, they pick up what seems to just be like a whole ass like squid. And they just kind of squeeze it, and like black ink coats the meat. And I will say it smells pretty fucking good. Yeah. Um, they like hold out the two plates and hand them to you. I'll, I'll take both of them. Um. Is it, is there anything um fun to do around here? Um, we're we're kind of uh, we haven't been here before. So is there anything... We're outsiders, are you? Um... Uh... Well, eh. we just haven't been here before. Um... To the market, or to the playground, this... Playground? Um... And you have a badge to prove you're meant to be here? Do I have a thing? Who's got the badge? Who's got it? Oh wait, there was I will one. say, I will say, I assume we took it because we were going into yeah. the doctor's place. I think you That's did. That's what I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> my friends. I thought you had one each. No, my, my friends no, they only have. Gave you one. They didn't my friends have spot. it. My friends have it, but like, you mean yeah, you don't have one. My friends have one. You can kind of like reach a... underneath the stall table. They put a padding button. You don't have one. We have a group one. Group one. We don't do group passes, lovey. Oh, Either you um... have affiliation with the guild, or you don't. Them's the rules. But I do. Your word isn't going to be enough, I'm afraid. I'll just go and get the thing from my friends then, and then I'll or come back. Or you could prove to me why I should be not calling on the authorities. Oh. If I send you off now, how do I know you're not just going to go punch someone and teal steal theirs? Huh? I tend to punch people. Right, well, I mean, I'm looking up at you and you're like, what, 6'4 or something? I don't yeah. know if I believe that. I'm 6'5. Well, even more so then. How do I know that you up at that 6'5 aren't going to punch someone? Told you I wasn't. Don't think I trust that. I'm just going to get the little thing and I'll come back and then we can talk. Alright. I don't think you're gonna make it to wherever you're trying to reach. Why not? Because I says so. Or perhaps you could give me a little hush money. I don't work for the authorities, but 
Oh, it's an expensive job being a farmer out here. Don't find many creatures out on the wasteland. I, if I give people money, it's because they give me something. Well, I'm giving you the chance to live. I don't think I'm going to die. You sure about that? Yeah. Haven't died yet. A child's logic is not what should be used in this situation. It's all I have. So, uh, make me a wisdom save. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Won't be it's, good. I'm sorry, just someone who's 6'4", I'm 6'5". Are my saves at disadvantage as well? Uh, no. Okay, well, it's still only a four. Mm. I don't know why I asked. Why did you ask? Yeah, that wouldn't change anything. I um, could have gotten that one. You are now paralyzed. Jesus Christ. And they just kind of lean over the table. And that's like, now you listen here. I don't want to get the opportunities involved. It's bad for business. People see them up by our stalls. They think we've done something. But... If you don't make it worth my while not to, I don't see any other choice. Playground has only survived as long as it has on the wasteland because we don't let people in. Not without good reason. If you haven't been sponsored by one of our people, then as far as I'm concerned, you're an intruder. And we've all seen what the Raiders can do. We've seen what the Raiders did to the other Playground Corporation. And we're not letting it happen to us now, are we? I don't think I can speak. Can I? I'm going to say for this one you can, because otherwise, like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Mao was it paralyzed, or just me? I think Mao is probably just cowering behind you. Okay. Um... Although, ooh, let me see this one right now. Is Mao... Feeling brave enough. Right, well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so on Mal. Where's Mal's spell list? Ooh. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> right, well, if the authorities won't get any both then. Just, no, but they don't care about magic. They like magic. But also, if they kill someone. If I straight up kills this shopkeeper, I swear. Well, I swear, I bet you anything, Mao is like level 10. They're a child! Yeah. And? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bear with a sec. I wasn't expecting this to happen this session, so I didn't have this up for Mao. Um... Oh. Also, Peter, are you yeah. good now? Yeah, fine. Uh, just accidentally rolled this across my keyboard as I just. Oh no! In a bunch of keys, I think I may have refer I've refreshed the page. I may have done something else. I, I think I turned my camera off a little bit. It's like I don't know what I did, but it seems fine now. <laughs> So, you would see Mao just kind of looks really angry and yeah. then casts Tasha's Caustic Brew at second level and basically just like this like kind of acid just spits out the pot this guy was cooking from and hits them in the face if it hits. Yeah, that hits. Uh, and they are going to take 44 damage. Okay. You murder a shopkeeper. Like, um... Mm, uh, uh, Dang, that's almost who, max. Who, um, who, uh, who thought what? we should leave the kids alone again? It's going to be okay. 
Uh, so we should have learned this by now. This guy takes eleven damage, and considering this is just a random shopkeeper, they are now bloodied. Um, do they do they know Mal was the one who did it? Find out. <laughs> Yes, they do. Okay. Why, you little rat. Um, I, why don't, I can give you back my change. Oh, oh after you've let that little <laughs> fucker burn me. Well, I, I can't move, so I couldn't do anything. Can I make a check when things get out of this? Uh, you can retry the save, I believe. Wisdom save. Yes. We need, like, it's not like a, just a ma Three. There's a reason why we told a babysit Mao. It's because they need to be on constant surveillance, otherwise they're going <laughs> to do this. Yeah. I kind of thought you guys would realize when I was like, hey, this is a child. Also, they have magic and you don't even know what class it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, no, I no, they, they won't leave the playground. They're gonna have fun in the playground, aren't they? Yeah, I think we're going back. Yeah, yeah, definitely the playground. Definitely the playground. The people will be in the playground. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely the playground. Yeah. I decided no, they're not gonna go to the medical tent where the other two people are. No, they're just gonna wander off and. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um. Uh, so I can't, I didn't get out of it. Um, I'm so paralyzed. I'm having oh like my God. palpitations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys excited that you guys uh, invited me to join? Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> We're literally gonna go, and they're gonna be arrested. <laughs> As Alex said, just a roleplay session, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We may not never find these two again. We don't know. It's like. So, uh, needless to say, Jenny's rat has just dropped dramatically with this place, um, and they're just gonna like hump. And just look at you, and they'll be like, "You take that whiny little rat away from here." And if I ever see you again, I'm calling the authorities straight away next time. Can we move then, please. That creature fucking burning me. Who's that old rat? And they're just staring straight at your mouth. Please. And yeah, they would drop the spell on you. And I'll just pick up Mal and head straight for the medical tent. Mm -hmm. Did you grab your food? I'm assuming you did. Yeah, my food's still in my hand, so I've got the food <laughs> and Mal. Okay, yeah, you just leg it. Uh, I need yeah. to check something a second. Okay, luckily for you, Mal remembered to grab Squish. Grab Squish. Thank God. And you make it to the medical tent. Where? What's everyone else doing while they're almost getting arrested? <laughs> the guy was so open to bribes too, and Jenny was just like, no. No. <laughs> it's great. It's like, oh yeah, you could have got away from that easily, but no, you just that happened. <laughs> But yeah, I think um, we've probably moved on to a second person to try and see if our mm -hmm. theories are correct. Yeah. So you have reached what seems to be like a young tiefling, like teenage tiefling dude. You, you want to take this one or shall I? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I can. Yeah, sure. Hey, hello Tom, welcome to the stream. 
I thought that was a patient talking for a second then. It's like, oh, hey. I'm confused. <laughs> Hello, Tom. <laughs> so, no, that's uh, just someone I know. Long time no see, too. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, my name is Tanner. I'm sort of conducting a small investigation of sort of, uh, what may you may be causing this uh, illness to be going around. I was wondering if you could help us. No, dude. Researching stuff's like so cool. Yeah, it is very cool, isn't it? Uh, yeah. That's a radical dude. So what were you doing when uh, you... Or what were you doing before uh, you, can, you realized you had this illness? Uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I, uh, I went, like, uh, school, and then we went to dinner, like everyone else. Then my mom made me go get the water, and then I felt, like, ass. I don't know, bro. Kinda happened, you know, dude? Yeah, fair enough. You're... You're being very helpful, don't worry. Every anything you say will be very helpful to hear. Cool. I hope so. Uh do, do you it's a uh are people with you? So are, uh has your mum come to visit here or? Uh yeah. Like a few times now. That's too sorry. Sorry, I should, I should have asked this before I uh, started investigating. What's your name? Uh, my name's Tam. That's a great name, Tam. My, my name's Tanner. So we got a similar oh, name. Nice. Like we got like kind of same vibe, bro. Yeah. Thick dude. <clears throat> Uh yeah, so sort of whilst he he will okay, so sort of, uh Tanner will just sort of like sort of look over the condition a little bit, but still engages in the conversation. Is is there anything that they'll pick up on? Right. So uh so just assessing the condition of this tiefling just mm -hmm. generally. Uh, pretty similar to the other person, like definitely like sweaty quite warm uh the skin seems a little discolored like you can tell they're like a kind of like purpley tiefling but they're a lot more kind of like pale than usual um like <clears throat> yeah and there's definitely also like a vibe of like kind of strange magic around at one point they like cough and you just see a small bonfire assemble itself next to the bed Hmm. Mysteries. Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <no. laughs> yeah, you've got, you've got a great vibe, my dude. You've got a great vibe. Yes, bro. You've got a great, great vibe, yes. Yo, you should, like, totally go surfing sometime. I've never been surfing, but it does sound very interesting. Bro, we should, like, totally go when I'm, like, not dying. Mm-hmm. I thank you very much for your help. I, I'll continue in my investigation. I... <laughs> yep, yeah, and there was... Oh? Can you ask him about if he's been to the Beast Hunters Guild? Well, you, you can ask him now. <laughs> No, but no, you two are oh, building such a uh, report. Okay. Uh, one one last question. Uh, have you been to the Beast Hunters Guild? Or quite recently? Uh, no. The Beast Hunters Guild isn't even, like, here, bro. This is Playground Corporation Guild. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I know we got, like, a, like, a... What's the word? It's, like, it begins with E. It sounds kind of cool. The e uh <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> so Sal stood in the background. Just, uh... Begins with E. Uh, uh, is it? You can chime in. You're not very light. <laughs> no, so you got this. Bro, you like totally got this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so a cool place beginning with E or something. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's like an E. She needs the beast of this enclave. I should have said that before, but I did. He's ask like kind of cool, bro. Beast you ever beast think about how an E is just like a spiral, but like not? Yeah, sometimes I think about that. Yeah, it's just always oh, quite curious, isn't it? They're kind of cool. But yes, have you been to the Beast Hunters Conclave in time recently, or? Conclave? I uh, don't think I've been to a conclave. Okay. Mean, oh, enclave. Oh, enclave. oh that's yeah, the word. That's, that's the it. word I was looking for, bro. Uh, Have you been there recently? Not in a while. Like, uh, we already have a possum, so. All right. All right. Don't really Thank need to talk to them. Thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, just po question that popped into mind before I left. Thank you for answering my question. No problem. Yo, dude, hit it here. Where you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tanner seems like very much someone who would go more for a handshake, but yeah, he 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 would do he would do a fist bump. Yeah. yeah it was even better because Tom played the fucking yeet down a pair at the same time. <laughs> 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 Incredible. Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Yeah. After uh after talking to. <laughs> After talking to my man Tam, <laughs> uh, uh, Tam and Tana. Yeah, Tam and Tana. Yeah, we're the vibe bros, bro. Yeah, we got it, bro. Come on, <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> I'm like so much more animated, but I think I might be dying, bro. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll visit you again later, bro. <laughs> yeah, anything for yeah. a fellow bro, my guy. We're vibe bros, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Uh, but yeah, uh, he'll leave and reunite with uh, Sal. To... Hmm. <laughs> that yes. was a lot of broing. Yes, uh, I try and connect with people I uh, converse with. Just to... better to be friendly with them, get on, get onto their level, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. So, what did you find out? But yes, uh, I know you were sort of like quite uh, encouraging that the it was the idea that it was the beast, beast hunters conclave. Uh, I, but, I said enclave, but it's okay. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. I was, I was pretty quiet. Anyway, yeah, so currently my uh, current notes believe that it, maybe it's. Uh, being spread round through the kids at the moment as I uh sort of uh Ellie's wife, I, I don't believe you've got their name, uh sort of dropped off the kids as sort of after their work before going to the Beast Hunt con Enclave. Oh Conclave Ah <laughs> I is I I keep on going back and forth between my notes and it's like I'm getting everything wrong. Good damn it. <laughs> Uh, right, but yes. Uh, and Tam here uh, went to school, and they're a teenager. So it's, I'm my guess. At first guess is that the it's the children that's linking all this together. But you might they, be right. I mean, from what you said as well, the only other similarity is they both have the same normal dinner. But I doubt it's in the food. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, everyone would be, everyone would be getting it. Exactly, but if it's only spread to the children, that makes more sense. Maybe it's something to do with like, maybe, maybe sort of where they, because where they come, because we left uh, Mao and Jenny with, we. I don't even. I don't think we know their names, do we? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I believe we left ro that robot on that child with the, at the playground, didn't we? 
god, we did. Maybe that is that maybe that's where they congregate. Maybe that's like, it might be worth Around and seeing it, yes. And I'll, I'll probably say let's make make sure we're on to the right track by investigating one more patient. But agreed, yeah, agreed. May, agreed maybe that, uh, we At may this have point, the others would kind of appear as well. Oh, there <laughs> you are! I thought you were in the playground. Um, we were, and then we went to the market, and then I think we made someone quite angry. So I don't think that we should split up again, and maybe we shouldn't go to the market and definitely don't talk to the meat man. <laughs> the meat um, man, you say? Mao is <laughs> going to basically run up and hug Sal's leg. Mao is quite oh. shaken oh. up. Sal's going to pat their head. It, it's okay, buddy. What happened? Mm -hmm. Meat man's scary. Oh, it's so bad. We're not going to go near the meat man again. Mm. He should have these two. I, mm, I just thought of a thing. Hey, um, uh, Mao, I found this. I, there's, I've met this really cool dude. And I, th I think they're quite a vibe to just get them on. They're a lot of fun, in my opinion. It's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> giving someone else babysitting duties yes <laughs> oh my god what is it if you guys are just handing off this child to other people no, no, who no, you no. don't I'm, know I'm gonna <laughs> keep them in eyesight but it's like yeah the Tam's a vibe why, why not just hang out with Tam he's a cool dude <laughs> actually can I insight check Tam just before I actually do sure. the... <laughs> <laughs> roll <five>. insight <laughs> Okay, so uh, da, 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 da. got so many tabs. Um, I got a twenty-one. Tabs a cool dude. Yeah, yeah. I I, I can leave Mao with him. <laughs> Actually, can I also insight check Mao to, to see if Mao would get along with this? <laughs> yeah, insight Mao. I think the child. Finally, someone insight. That's a twenty-three. <laughs> Uh, Mal's a good vibe, but also, like, this child is definitely, like, I don't know how to phrase it. I'm gonna send you a DM a sec. Oh, oh, interesting, oh! <laughs> Find out info! Oh my god. Holy shit, whatever it is. Yeah. I also legit might not know. <laughs> I know, right, Alex? Just like, holy shit. Yeah. This is big. This, I'm, I'm, I'm quite interested by this, because I've, I've been watching the streams, and I don't think this has happened before. Is this, is this some whisper stuff? No one has incited Mal yet. <laughs> oh, wow. Incited Mal. Honestly, if it just got, yeah. Yeah, all of the insights has never been Mal. I will say, if it just says Mao is a child, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, I'm tempted to change it to just that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, guess what? Child. Guess what I learned. <laughs> oh my god, no. We need to know if the BBEG is a seven year old. Oh. Can you just imagine if Mao was like the ultimate bad guy at the end? To be fair, we wouldn't want to kill Mal, so Mal would win. Oh no, yeah, no, I'm I'm not wanting to kill Mal. No, not on the slightest. If yeah, Mal you can kill is fight. the big bad, then we will be yeah. on their side. Obviously, Mal, yeah, yeah Mal, you can kill me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> we just become villains. We're like, I'll be these good guys anyway. Who are you, Mal? I would say, like, this is very much like you'd be kind of putting these pieces together. This wouldn't be abundantly clear immediately. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, yeah. I'm just reading it through. <laughs> Before I check, I can also see that channel. Is there something you don't want me to see? No, that's fine. You know this. Okay. Okay. I was just double checking. Because <laughs> I almost immediately messaged, looked at it like, oh, I can know this. <laughs> if it's something that I don't want you to know, I will send it in DMs. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But you know what this thing oh, is. Oh, yeah. I know, I know what that is. I know what that is. It's just that, like. I'm like, now I get to finally tell someone it. <laughs> yeah. Like, so you know when you put, like, a mystery right in someone's face, and you're like, hey, ask me a question about this thing, and everyone's like, I'm gonna ask you a question about this thing instead, and you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been so busy trying to insight shield, no one's ever insighted Mao. Mao's just... <laughs> it's, she's just more uh, conspicuous, it seems. I think we just yeah. all inherently trust children. <laughs> Like, quite a few things no, Mal has never done do never should have flagged. Children. Never trust children. <laughs> so many things Mal's done should have flagged, like, a little, like, huh, in anyone who knows the game well enough. And it's really funny because no one's picked up on it. Given this it. session, I need to inside check Mal. It's like, no. I just <laughs> assume yeah. that Mal is incredibly oh, yeah. powerful, and that's just something that is just... A thing that happens, and I don't. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like, but yeah. So he he was more just checking, and it's like this all these sort of bits of information he was just sort of collecting. So, oh. so as long as Tanner stays alive long enough to tell people, uh, we'll see if it gets out. Will he tell anyone though? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, Mal's, Mal's a child. Mal's trustworthy as much <laughs> as a child is. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, uh, Tanner would see no reason why. He, uh, hey, Tam, uh, hey, Tam, um, Yo. so I've, I, I, I'm continuing my investigations for a bit, but, uh, someone I'm looking after is of, uh, is of, wants to have some, uh, fun or sort of needs some, someone cool to vibe with for a time. Uh -huh. I can vibe with them for a bit. Sure, bro. Yeah, cool. But... And they'd, they'd see Mao and then be like, Yo, you got a little bro with you. That's so cool. That's sick. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a few little bros. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, they would cough, and you would see just above their head, like right at the top of the tent, there's this giant sphere appear and just explodes and then just stops. You guys are very lucky that that didn't happen near you, because it would have done 10d4 damage. <laughs> we, maybe we don't leave Mao with the same people. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, they're just like, yo! Hey little bro. And they give Mao a little fist bump. <gasps> Oh yo, this little guy is sick. The bro, can I see your little little bro? And Mao would like hand over Squishy, and like yo, that's sick, bro. I, I thought you were gonna name? say gnarly for a second. I was like, that's gnarly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? And then Mao's just like Squish. I'm like yo, Squish is a gnarly name, bro. Okay, may, okay, may I point out that this is giving me the most, like, Crush and, what was it, uh, Rock? It's like, you know, it's so, like, yeah. from Finding Nemo, it's like, Crush and it's like, yeah. his little son. It gives me that oh. vibe so much. For a minute, I thought you were saying you had a crush on this guy. And no! I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all I have to do is make someone 90s. <laughs> 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 That's suddenly your type, like. <laughs> a question word. Oh yeah, squirt. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Crush. Now give me some fin. Now again, dude. Adorable. If we leave him yeah. long enough, Mal will start to talk like that as well. Oh yeah, no, he's gonna <laughs> turn into squirt. <laughs> I'm here for it. Come on, we need this. 
shield's gonna kill us. <laughs> Like, uh, um, I think Shield is gonna kill us anyway. <laughs> Definitely. Like, yeah. This guy looks notably a lot happier as they're like chatting to Mao and just like playing with Squish. They seem quite happy. What are you guys doing? Was <laughs> just gonna listen to me talking to myself for like ten minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I I was going to go invest, uh, investigate another patient, uh, but sort of occasionally keeping an eye on uh, <laughs> Tavern now, but they seem to be getting along quite fine, so he's quite pleased with that. Mm -hmm. I will give um, Mao their share of the mystery meat um, and kind of stay kind of halfway between the group of the, doing an investigating and halfway towards, um, towards Mao and Tav. Mm-hmm. Mal's gonna kind of sit, talking to this person, and start eating their food. I'm gonna be eating as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it tastes really fucking good, by the way. Um, you two going to talk to the person? Yes. What are you doing? Would you like to take the investigation this time, or or the yeah. conversation? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind going for it. Um. Yeah, so Sal goes over to uh, the third person that you picked, who has the same afflictions as the other two, and just says, also internally, just being like, please don't think I'm someone else, please don't think I'm someone else, uh, as she walks over. Um, hi, sorry to bother you, we were just wondering if we could ask you a few things about basically what happened before you became ill. Um... Hi. Um. Yeah. What do you want to know? Right. Well, basically, we're just trying to get to the bottom of this. So, we've been hearing a few things about where people are going before, while they fell ill. Some things about the food, maybe about beast hunters on clay, uh, maybe about where the children are hanging out. Can you Tell us what you did the day before this happened. Or what led up to it. Well, what did happen? Uh, I don't know, like, I went out. I mean, I just kind of did normal things, you know? Dinner. Vibing around the place. Um... Like, I did leave the, um, uh, what's it called? I did leave the playground a little while ago and go out on a raid. Hmm. Wasn't too successful, though. Um, unfortunately. Well, like, so uh, we were trying to scale, um, What the name of that one, but one under constellation of like what flower I think it was, and yeah, it didn't go great. Um, so didn't manage to get as much as we hoped we would supply wise, but I don't know, nothing else has really been going on. But you said you did leave the playground, so. Perhaps it was something there. You think we brought this in? I don't know. I mean, I don't think... Well, I mean, have you been here long? Because if not, it must not come from outside. I think you said it was already in here. I mean, I've been here quite a while, yeah. So, potentially uh, something from your raid there. Maybe something that got out and other people have come into contact with. Huh? So, like, did you bring anything back that people might have come into contact with? Uh, not really. We brought back normal stuff, you know? Like? Like, plants, food, uh, materials. I mean, we get quite a few, like, magic items and stuff if we can find them. Things for... Right, right, Forging yeah. stuff. 
but like we're mostly self-sufficient here we only do it once in a while we try not to be the raiding parties there's enough raiders well, out on the wasteland anyway well you've been very helpful man that's all i need to know um and your name no by the way huh what's your name uh i'm janet lovely to meet you thank you so much no problem and then um sam will go back to uh tana yeah uh tana would have been sort of i'm checking over the person the same is the same symptoms hello Hello? Hello? Hey. Is it is it the same symptoms as before or Oh the symptoms. Oh I thought you were asking Aaron like what the results were. Um no, Yeah sorry. pretty much. It seems to be pretty similar. Okay. And then um Yeah, I'll... yes. Jenny, check your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> so non discreet whispers <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent the discreet message and no one noticed it. <laughs> so it's, uh, but yeah, uh, Sal basically replays all the information. So it's either gotta be the playground of the kids or it's gotta be the food. It's one of the two. Well, as the raid itself was, was it, I heard something about it being under the flower constellation. Yeah, the one that looks like a flower. They're not very creative with names. Although, now that I think about it, the playground and the food, when did the others come into contact with both of those? Hmm. It's like the only things that seem to be popping back up, and if so, I think we gotta check in. At least before we go and investigate. This mysterious meat man. Hmm. <laughs> the meat man. The meat man. Oh yeah, gotta check on in the meat man. <laughs> we don't trust the meat man. We don't want to go anywhere near the meat man. <laughs> but do you trust the muffin man? Oh, absolutely. He lives on Drury Okay, I brought this up as a joke, and then it's like it as he just naturally spawned in this conversation. It's like. <laughs> I'm not against it. Sal's starting to worry a little with the information they've gathered. Let's, let's, we can always come back here and see if anything else has developed. But I believe we've got enough to go off and try and find, chase some leads. Right, definitely. And let's take the others with us this time, I think. Yes. 100%. Head back to Tam! Oh, Tam, the man! <laughs> Tam yo, Tam. guys! Yo, what's up? You solved this thing yet? You're gonna make me better? We found some possible leads, but... Yeah, so we, we need to do some more investigating, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, hang on one sec. Um. Okay. Uh, Jenny. <laughs> uh, oh. Does a twelve hit? No. Okay, you're good then. Don't worry okay. about it. What? Um. Okay. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just... Okay, um... I don't know how to, to like, try and get back in the rhythm here, it's like... <laughs> like, I'm freaking out, Loki. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's something trying to sing, Jenny. 
<sighs> um, I will not be elaborating. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't expect it, to, but it's like, <laughs> so he just dropped that. I was like, mm, what's that gonna do? <laughs> Uh, Alex uh, likes to leave Jenny alone. How is Mao? Is Mao chilling? Mao's vibing. Cool. Mao is currently, like, now you're talking to Tam. Like, Tam is kind of handed back Squish, and they're just, like, whispering to Squish. In which case, Sal's gonna walk back over to the group. Just be like, well, I'm sorry to cut this short, but uh, us guys, we gotta go on a little uh, mission to try and get this sorted. So if you two can come with us this time, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. I think that's a good plan. We'll be back soon, Tam. Yo, uh -huh. okay, bro. I love Have this program. a good one, bro. I'm gonna <laughs> wave you off. The thing is, it's that this my character is like not like he's not accustomed to being a bro, but they've just become a bro because yeah, that's don't worry. what Tam is. You can learn. Yes, I'm <laughs> learning to be a bro. Oh, the way of the bro, it can only be te teach, bro. It's gonna infect Squishy. That, wait, that, that, that's gonna be growing. Uh, that that's a new monk subclass. If ever there was one, the way of the bro. The way of the bro. <laughs> How do you know I'm not gonna make that a subclass now? Like, <laughs> can I take a homebrew subclass? Please. Hey, well, yeah, I I've got a decent deck, so I can definitely subclass into that. Yeah, should do we it. just like all monk? Multiclass into bro. Oh. <laughs> I'll be a monk. We'll see how much interactions I have with Tam, and this. <laughs> I mean, you but guys yeah. could totally abduct Tam. Tam's too ill to like stop you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a teenager. I think that's a, that's a little bit more like kidnapping. It's he's like, like no. young adult. Like he's like that age where like you would trust him to look after another child. Okay, so like he's old enough to... we did do. Yeah. So yeah, he wants babysitting. Do we need to pay him as like a pay babysitting fee? No, we just run. Alex says all month campaign. Don't give me ideas. Oh god, yes. My campaigns are gonna end soon, or at least like have to change format because it's the end of uni. So, Wait, like, no don't give me ideas. <laughs> I already have far too many ideas for what's happening with those oh, games. Oh god, right. <laughs> oh, um, no, I'll totally do a one shot of that though. That'd be funny. I'm down. I'm gonna have to give every enemy slow, or they'll just die instantly. <laughs> No! <laughs> Let us stunning strike all of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, what are you doing? You're leaving the place to go do things, right? Yes. If that be the case, I think now is a good point to call our break. Oh, yes. Hey! I, I, I need to rest my fingers of note-taking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, yeah, so oh, right. <laughs> it is ten past now, so I vote we reconvene at half past. Yes, okay. Uh, so if you're watching us, well, I have a button where I can make my face all big. There we go. If you're watching <laughs> us, don't go anywhere. We will be right back after these messages. The aren't messages. It's just gonna be like a be right back screen. That's a message technically. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh yeah we're just gonna take a quick break thank you very much for vibing with us so far and we'll be back at half past ish it might be a little bit longer than that because i've just spoken for another like two minutes but <laughs> goal is half past see you soon um yeah i need to work out what buttons i'm pressing uh...
and we are back hello everybody welcome back to the last ascension this is part two of this stream um we are here once again um quick recap the first half traveled to a place called the playground because they have acquired a small child that they need to keep happy or they'll get kicked out of the one safe place they have in the entire wasteland. Uh, turns out it's not really a playground. Child got bullied. Uh, have nearly accidentally murdered a commoner and are now trying to work out what magical disease is plaguing this place. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, to chill. Casual day. Small problem. Small problem. Small problem. Yeah, we thought we'd. welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to you too, Alex. I'm very furious at the little thing hit the corner while we were gone because I wasn't watching the street. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, what are you all doing now? Two places to start in the playground or the falls. I think my main ideas. What? I think the playground and the poop stalls are the main points of interest. Well, there's also, the you know, there's also the cabin as well. I'm looking at the map. 
Mm, true, would, yes. Would have food and drink. Yeah. Uh, Can't go to the food to... stall, so. Yeah. I um, might have to. We can avoid the meat map, but we might have to go back. No, if he sees us, it's not good. But what actually happened? Well, nothing. Just we were talking, and then I couldn't move. And then acid came out of his thingy, his pot, and um, he was quite angry. Mal kind of um, giggles when you say that part, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and when you say yeah. that, I'm not just thinking. Mm. And then he let us go, and and we left. And he said, if he ever saw us again, he'd call the authorities. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we will not go back to him at least. Yeah. Keep that aside. Okay. Any ideas on where we start then? We've got a few leads. I Do you think we're gonna find? And so basically all of them have come in contact with something that's making them all ill, and we've got to figure out either where it came from or what it is. Well, I didn't see anything in the playground. <laughs> That's true. Well, you know, you guys have been talking to people, so it's up to you. I mean, we don't think it could have come from the Parsons, do we? I, I hate to say it because obviously they look very friendly, but you never know. Possum's not friendly. Yeah, they're kind of not. Uh, Mal would show like the kind of big bite marks on their arm. Oh my god, what happened? Possum bite me. Okay, we're not going back over there. I take back what I said. Possums are evil. Um, they might be to blame. Yeah, well, we should probably keep a uh, close eye on Mao's condition, condition just in case it gets worse from that bite. That's true, then we'll know if it's the Parsons or not. Now, let's check one of the other leads. Maybe head over to... Head back to the playground, see how the kids are doing. Or is that a little weird if we go over? No, it'll be fine. We're doing investigative research. Yes, I think that's the proper way to do it. Play the playground first, and then we see what else is there. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, so I was going to start walking towards the playground, or towards the um, the like the area. Yeah, so you head towards the play site, and once again, yeah, you can see that it's kind of like fenced off from the rest of the place. You can see some kids milling around for a while, and then at some point you would hear like a kind of gong, and you would see all the kids kind of look sad and disappointed and start kind of funneling their way out. Um, they start walking off to the area that you would know on the map is listed as the village. Seems that playtime is over. You know, we heard that too, but I guess we know what that is now. Yeah, they came out when that happened before. And... Is there um, like, uh, do, do we know? Do we see where the gong is, or is it just we? You hear the gong. You can just hear it wherever it is. Like it's kind of like a faintish sound coming from here. Hmm. It seems like it's coming from somewhere else in the city. Can we? Taking a look at the kids falling out. Are any of them coughing or showing symptoms? Sorry? Are any of the kids falling out, like, showing any of the symptoms? Doesn't seem to be. 
Hmm. It seems they've done a pretty good job of, like, filtering around who is ill. But in which case, I guess it's not this place affecting them. I think, uh, if you mind, I'm, I'm just going to go just per peruse the ground, just to make sure. Go ahead. Today. He's just going to be sort of investigating sort of like anything that seems off, anything that he's just going to be sort of like making sure he get, does a sort of a thorough sort of reading over a lot of the area as much as he can cover. With the play site? Yeah. Okay, roll investigation. Uh, I technically have a thing for eye for detail, but that's only uh, to make a bonus action for investigation checks to uncover or decipher clues. But mm -hmm. uh, yes, but uh, I have an eighteen. Okay, what exactly are you looking for? So, like you said, this, uh, there's generally uh, ra sort of rusty, uh, rusty t uh, areas. And then some, by the sound of it, the possums are probably attracted to this area because of how run down it is. I'm thinking, trying to think or, or see anything that seems out of place from those things. Seems so, out of place from all the run down stuff. Yeah, possibly just like a recently, something recently dropped or discarded, maybe. Okay. Um. Magic radiation thing. <laughs> um, but yeah. Or something that just sort of seems like that it's like particularly yeah off. This place seems to be kind of how it always has been. It seems like it's certainly not the safest playground, but it doesn't seem like anything here would have changed recently. Everything seems like about as it always is. Hmm. Nothing really sticks out. And, like, you can judge by, like, some of them kind of scratch marks on the playground equipment and stuff that the possums, like, it seems like the possums always live here. Like, this is where they are kept to graze. Like, you'd notice that there is, like, some kind of possum feeders at one end of the place. And it seems like the possums, like, go down the slides and stuff because there's kind of claw marks on them. But they seem quite old, so, at least some of them do. So, it doesn't seem like the possums are a new addition. Hmm. Currently, sort of going through Tanner's head is like, uh, maybe these are the creatures that the uh, playground corporation used to help haul stuff at places. So, but who knows? Uh, yeah, Tanner's gonna turn to the group and sort of, yes, uh, couldn't find anything. Probably best to move on. Good plan. Um, in which case, I guess we got the stalls and maybe the schoolhouse. I think somewhere where they both went. I don't want to go to the schoolhouse quite yet because I have a feeling that that gong might mean they're all over there somewhere, and probably best not to disturb kids. Hmm. So, which means, I think we're going to head back to the market, Jenny and Mao. Oh, actually, wait, I don't know your names. You two. Yeah. If you need to stay out of the way, then you can make sure you're not seen, but we're going to be with there with you this time. Okay. Um, I'm kind of tall, so I don't really know how to hide, but be there. I can crouch. Like, behind something. Went that look weird. A little, but uh, I don't have anything that can hide you. Anyone else? I'm... If you want to go try and investigate by yourself, I'm more than happy to sort of, uh, keep uh, these two company and out of trouble. You sure you wouldn't mind? Yep. 
We, 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 should we, I'll, should we stay by the playground for the meantime, just so we don't get uh, lost? And I think you should take the emblem with you, just in case. Sounds good to me, but if you see anything suspicious, follow it. That's the rule. Yeah, currently we're in sort of a somewhat desolate area where not many people are going to be just walking up to us and asking for the emblem, so I think that you'd better, best have it. That's probably true, so, uh, yeah. But okay, cool. Yes, I will. Uh, I will get on that right now. And, uh, I don't know, keep, my, uh, keep the kid entertained. It's so weird not knowing their names already. <laughs> You can just no, ask. Johnny isn't hiding no, it. I made the point now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think ta well, whilst when they go, Tanner's going to ask. So, hey, uh, what I, I I don't believe I haven't asked this yet. But what are your names? <laughs> Jen. Is that the sounds left? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm Mao. Well, most people call me Tanner. Nice to meet Hello. you. Both. Yes, is this what's what's this little uh thing called? And so uh, gesturing to squish. <laughs> huh? Not ominous at all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was what was, what was the question? My brain zoned out for a sec. <laughs> Tana, Tana was talking to Mao about sort of uh, what is uh, Squish called. Oh. Uh, this is Squish. Little Squish. Say yeah. hi to Little Squish. Hello, Little Squish. <laughs> little Squish says hi to you. Very nice to meet the both of you. You know, you, you kind of remind me of one of my own, one of my own children. Do you have kids? Hmm. Maybe you'll meet them one day. Okay. <laughs> and Mal just kind of walks away a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to keep an eye on them, but he isn't going to cruise further. Um, yeah, so, where are people heading? Sal's, I think. Sal's oh, going. Yeah. Sal's going uh, to the market, to the market. And, and Tanner is keeping an eye on... Uh... Tanner's babysitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the secret mission is not just babysit Mal. Babysit Mal and Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, did we not mention that part? Yeah, no, not. <laughs> I mean, considering Jenny is the one who nearly, like, got Mal to kill someone, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Encourage. Did. I didn't encourage anything. <laughs> if Mal had rolled max damage, that guy would be dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, there's a reason why I've said, oh yeah, Jenny and Mao are in trouble with the, <laughs> with the Playground Corporation at the moment. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so Sal, you're heading into the market. What are you looking mm -hmm. for in the market? The meat man. Okay. There's only one stall that she's going to. I mean, you find like a food area. Yeah. And yeah, there's someone selling chickens, there's someone selling fish, there's someone selling meat, there's someone selling pork, there's someone selling beef. Sal is looking particularly for someone who looks like they're having a bad day. Okay. Roll perception. Oh no. How many of them are having a bad day? <laughs> they're vendors, all of them. Mm, try working with customer service. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. 
Um, okay, so, um, I rolled a nat one, which makes that a negative two. Um, everyone here is in the best spirits they've ever been in. Everyone's having a great day. It's a lovely sunny day in the wasteland. It's not, it's fucking freezing. Everyone's having a lovely time. Uh, you found out which one's my dumb stuff. Negative three, though. Minus three. Do you have a two in that stat? Or like a four? Well, three ones. Wait, three ones? You must have rolled four ones. Because it's four, four dropped the lowest. Yeah. You have a three in a stat? No, I have a five in a stat. And it's minus. <laughs> oh, okay, so you rolled three ones and a two. Yeah. No. Two twos and a one. No, because yeah. three ones and a three. Three ones and a three. Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't good. It was funny. I mean... It's like a spectrum, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. She's just kind of dense. Yeah. But yeah, she's like, yeah, everyone's having a great day, so... Everyone's having a lovely day, despite the fact that it's practically hailing out here. And it's horribly cold. Yeah, I mean, she's having like, a great It's warmer day. inside <laughs> the, uh, like, boundaries, but it's still cold. Cool. Uh, in which case, Sal just knows it's meat, so Sal's gonna go to the first one, so she's probably gonna go to, like, the chicken one. Mm hmm And just walking up and saying, Hi, um, I've got a few questions if you don't mind answering them. Um, I'm here to okay? sell meat, not not ask a qu answer questions. Okay, well, would you answer my questions if it'll help keep the place safe and stop people from dying? If you're gonna buy some in. Never mind then, have a good day. Immediately goes to the next meat person. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, what was another one? Uh, there was chicken, there was... Beef. Beef. Okay, she's going to the beef store. Mm-hmm. You'd shit. arrive at someone who looks yeah. a bit more cow-like than you would expect a person to look. Fair enough. Um, hi, yeah, pleasure to meet you. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm doing an investigation into all the illness around here. What kind of questions? Looking mighty shifty there. Uh, what do you mean? I'm, I'm, no, no, nothing's wrong. Are you, you going to buy some in? Uh... Look, I'll make this quick. Uh, I know that some people bring in deliveries from outside, and I need to know where they go first and where they end up. Who's bringing deliveries in? What do, what do you mean? <laughs> like the people who went out in the raid to flower and then brought it back. Where did that go? Oh, the raid. Yeah, the, the raid people would have gone out to do the raid, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, and then whatever they bring back, where does it end up? Uh, I don't know, probably, probably in their houses, or maybe the authority have it, maybe it's in the, the supply store, I don't know. Supply <laughs> well, store, that's not too bad. Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Yeah, I'm inside checking this. <laughs> okay. You, you, you want to buy some meat? <laughs> You 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 wanna you wanna eat some amazing food? Amazing food. How amazing is it? Uh, it's pretty pretty good. Straight off the cow. <laughs> What's a cow? Yeah, I, I rolled a six, so that's not getting any insight. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're not shifty at all. <sighs> you feelings have disadvantage on half checks, and you're rolling worse. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I love that none of you looked for, like, a way to get rid of the exhaustion, by the way. <laughs> we were like, well, we got it now. Like, there would have been somewhere. A bed? <laughs> Maybe a hospital, or, like, a medical centre. 
Yeah, like, the stuff in there literally could have just, like, greater restor- lesser restoration to you or whatever. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> We're sticking to our guns. I mean, you guys are could do whatever you want, you're not seeing the playground. Yeah, this place is literally the definition of a sandbox. It's literally in the sand, and you're in a box. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> talking back to the vendor, I'm not going to buy anything, but uh, you have a good day. Uh, you too. Um, watch the skies. <laughs> I will. And she just starts backing away slowly. Mm -hmm. Okay, what other meat was there? Huh? Oh, oh sorry, what other meat vendors, yeah. Oh, there's pork and meat. Cool, there's okay. There's also fish, and with your level of wisdom, I don't know if you know that that's not a meat. Absolutely not, let's go to the fish. Okay. You can see a stand selling... Some kind of fish. Cool. Uh, the sow looks over. Hi, would you mind if I ask you some questions? I'll make it quick. I know, like, I'm trying to get around all the meat people today. Meat people? Sure, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, the food. It's fine. So, um, just quick question. I heard, I'm trying to find out, when the food comes in from the raids, where does it go next. I heard there's maybe a supply for it. What do you mean um, food that comes in from the raids? We're supposed to farm it ourselves. Speaking of, would you like some red herring? You you, you farm it yourselves? Yeah. <laughs> Can I look around and see if there's any water in this place? Like, a lake where they might put fish from? Or I mean, not, <laughs> not in the market. Cool. But you can see they have a tank of water next to them. And there are some like red fish swimming around in it. They all seem to have a kind of like ma like iridescent kind of sheen on them, cool. like very pretty scales. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I'm not here to buy. Just here to ask. Um, but you say you do. I That's such a shame. You know, red herring's so good this time of year, and it can be pretty useful too. Useful for what? Oh, you you know, solving mysteries. I guess I don't know. You know what they say about a good old red herring? I don't, unfortunately. Look, if I buy something, they, you they say it's answer red. my question. Ah, uh, um, sure. Okay, how much is it? Um, the whole fish or half, or do you want sashimi? We got all sorts. I've got whole a fillet too in the back. Whole fish? Okay, uh, whole that would fish. be uh, five silver. He gets out five silver and puts it on the desk. Mm -hmm. And they, you'd see them just like dip a hand in the tank. And they like shock and grasp the fish as they go to grab it. And it just dies instantly. And then they take it out and just like bag it for you in like some soft paper. Well, at least it's fresh. As fresh as they come. Well, but, so obviously you farm yourselves, but. Mm hmm. Obviously some stuff came in from somewhere else. Are we not even the least bit worried that that might have contaminated some people? Why would we be worried about contaminants? <laughs> because people are dying. Oh, people die all the time, love. Oh my It's the God, natural order, it. isn't it? Sal, Sal takes the fish and starts walking off the fish. Yeah, She's just happens. saying to herself, like, I need to find the one vendor who makes sense in this place. Maybe you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm just saying. Red herring. We don't know. I'm gonna test every single one of them. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the. What was it? There's pork and beef left. Yes. I'm curious to see all their personalities. Let's go pork. Okay. Ellie. Hi. Can I ask you some quick questions about people dying and if we can solve the more uh, a little mystery that's going on here? I assure you, all our pig is, what's it called, uh, ethically farmed. I never said that it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Anywho, um, it's all free range. You can you can look out. You, you you can if you go to the right place. If you know where to go, you can see all those lovely little piggies just walking around, having a great time, having a lovely life. Nothing bad about the piggies. No, I bet there's not. Where are they? I'd love to go check. Uh, they're out in the pig farm. Cool, I'll stop by there after. Anyway, cool. uh, so, um, basically people are dying. We need to find out where. Uh-huh. That, that's stuff. very sad. Were they having lovely lives like the piggies? Probably. Mm-hmm. So, you don't blink much. What, what do you mean? I, I, I blink the normal amount. And now, you, and now you blink too much. Anyway. Not gonna question that. Um, the food that comes in, just trying to figure out where it ends up. Like a lot of people eat different stuff here. Uh, but, um, well, 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 our, our food comes from the little, little piggy farm. Okay, yeah, no. I'm, mm, okay, we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. There is one stop left do, I need do, to go do, to. Do you, do you not want any, any free, free range pig? That was gone. <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Sal is literally speaking as she walks up to the final, like, in the meat stand. It's like, okay, please, this, there's gotta be one vendor who just talks in and can help me and knows at least what's going on around here. Hi, can you please help me with something? And, yeah, you can see this horn outside. I'm from? Uh, <laughs> I'm in my mom's car. Uh, or, what can I help you with, then? Look, people... I've got me a lot of meat here that I'm trying to sell, but, uh... Just, just meat in general. You're not going to talk about the nice little piggies or the red herring that I've heard so much about. No. If I wanted to be... If I wanted... If I were here trying to sell ye some piggies, then I'd be over at the pig stand, wouldn't I? But I'm not. I'm at the meat stand. Okay. Trying to sell so... meat. At least it's selling like a little more sense. So, look, a lot of people are dying around here, and a lot of people okay. are ill, and I think it's coming from, well, the readers said they were just out in flour, and that they might have brought something in. Maybe that got distributed around, and people are getting ill from that. Good for them. Hi. Well, I did none of you bandits care that people are dying, and if they do care that people are dying, they're like, oh, maybe they had good laughs. I do not understand you bandits, okay? Well, I'm gonna be real. Someone tried killing me up here in my own stall earlier, they did, so I'm not sure I really think everyone in here deserves to live anyway. Oh, you're the meat man they were on Made about. my own did... little pot splash acid on me. Well, how would, how would they do that? It's your pot. Magic, innit? <laughs> People say that M went a lot around here. Magic doesn't exist. You sure about that? Yeah, absolutely sure. Huh. Not from around town, are you? No, actually, we were brought in to help with the investigations. Right, let me see your badge of honor, as it were. And she pulls out the badge. Mm-hmm. They kind of inspect it for a moment, they're like... Seems official. And it is. I'm just trying to help around here. Why do you ever want to help in Playground if you don't live there? Not really Sometimes. one for outsiders, are we? No, but you know how the world works. You know, gotta know the right people. Get the right report in the right places. Place the wrong time. And you're dead though, innit? I wouldn't be coming to Playground if I weren't. With my own assurances, I wouldn't. Well, it's all good. Anyway, uh, look, we're just trying to figure out what might have happened. I I think it might be the food, but obviously not the ones that you guys were using before, because clearly it would have been an issue way earlier. Hmm. So maybe it's something new that came in? What do you reckon? Er, uh, well... I mean, I don't know. Can't say I know much of the vendors, at least, that are bringing in new stuff. 
We normally stick with the same stock. People like the meat, they buy the meat. People like the red herring, they buy the red herring. Uh, besides, when we're, when we're all at dinner together at the end of every day, don't tend to really distinguish what people are eating, do we? It's only you know, two lot, meals you gotta work on your own. A lot, of huh? people have said that, a lot of people have said that you all have dinner together, and you say that a lot. Is it like one big meal, or like do you all go to your own homes? Yeah, we have the dinner out in the square, don't we? Oh. We pack up the market about what? Seven eighths of the cycle. And then in the seventh eighth of the cycle, we have dinner together before everyone goes home. And then the opposite cycle people start setting up for the off cycle market. Right, gotcha. But I wouldn't go oh. with that one. The Between you and me, the, the off-cycle market, a little, a little strange, but, uh, yeah, whether you live on this cycle or the other cycle, we all have dinner together. For some people, it's breakfast. Interesting. Well, thank you so much for your help. I got a lot of no information problem. there. Oh, Sal's going to head back to the others, hopefully. With her, with her fish, I guess. It's just mm -hmm. with her red in herring. a bag. The red herring, which that it probably isn't going to stay good this long, considering it's not on ice, but she has a fish in a bag, so. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as long as the other three are still alive, uh, Tal's going to run back to them. Yeah, they seem are alive when you find them. Are we alive? <laughs> hey! We survived! <laughs> you seem to be, although that being said, uh, Jenny, please do again the thing I asked you to do before. Yeah. Um, should I say it out loud, or? Uh, if you send me a message. Yeah. I don't like that. Not at all ominous whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, you guys need, don't need to worry about that. Continue with what you're doing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Sally goes up to you and says, Alright, so I've talked to all the vendors and basically they're all selling different things. Some of them are completely not helpful. But um, the main thing is that they all have dinner in the square or in the main area uh in the seventh uh the seventh eighth of the cycle and then both halves have it the people who work now and then the people who work on the second half the second cycle so i think it's got to be something there hmm. perhaps one of the merchants is a bit faulty with their product or something like that potentially i mean some of them had some weird stuff I wouldn't trust the pig vendor at all. Those pigs are definitely not free range. Do we know how far through the cycle we are right now? Hmm. Do you? Uh, I guess roll... <laughs> I guess perception. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Oh my god, why are we so bad at perception? I simply can't perceive. <sighs> I perceive nothing. Huh? Oh, are we doing rolls as well or no? Uh, if you want to try and work out as well. Yeah, if we want something better than an eight. Nine! <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Thirteen. Dang, okay. Um, you guys really don't quite know. What I will tell you is the way that most cities 
well, not most cities, but the way that this city probably works, because it's how a couple work, is within 24 hours, there are three cycles, all eight hours long. Because eight hours is the amount of time that most species need to sleep for. And yeah, there's no sunlight, so it doesn't matter when in that period. So, judging by the fact that kids came out to play and then disappeared, which is probably around lunchtime, you're probably at least past the fourth eight. Okay. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're, so we're over halfway. So but we're not sure. Goes, supposed to be. Mm. Also, Alex redeems hydrate, so drink your water. <laughs> The condensation. Bill all over myself. Emma. Emma, no. The condensation. Leo. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do an actual like over exaggeration of screen and I sent my video. Emma, no. Emma. I can only do that. <laughs> Emma, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do more of a bad one, like, consistently, but I have to do, like, a phrase like that first to get into it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, Sometimes you need, like, an entry phrase for an accent, it's really funny. Oh, 100%. It's like, because mine is sort of somewhat based on Sean Connery, it's, uh, your best. Losers mm. always complain about their best. What were you doing when I called you into the call earlier? Yeah, that that and the greeting. That that's that's the way I get into this voice now. That's the only two ways. Well, it's no, like I... the meat man is supposed to be like that, probably like country farmer. It's like, yeah. like ooh. -er. Uh... <laughs> I'm like because we're streaming, I don't want to keep saying it, so I have to like say it in my head before I can speak. Yeah, or just like quickly mute yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So if the voice ever slips, it's because I haven't had a chance to, like, think it through <laughs> and get back into it. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh. Yeah, um... Um... I have an idea, I think... Well, I assume a lot of the nurses will be going to the feast later. I don't think we just tell, keep an eye on what everyone's eating. Maybe if we can just keep an eye on what people eat and then gets ill the next day we can figure it out from that if it is the food we still don't know really good line to follow though maybe just one we, we, if we can set that up as a proportion and then maybe start checking out the stuff out i think this is good to cover a few bases what do you guys think Sounds good. Yeah, I think um, we just need to see what else we can do until until then, I guess. Yeah. By the way, Meat Man's not happy with you too. I know. Also I said that the, the, the yeah. I mean, he also said the child did magic, but I, I don't know what that was about. Not but yeah. So is, so is Jen. Right. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll call it magic. We'll call it that. Didn't you see Jen teleport earlier? Absolutely. I mean, no. When we were at uh, the... They were uh, at the center. Oh, yeah. And I feel like every time something else magical happened the uh, coughs in the medical center. Like, Sal just blinked at the wrong time and then just assumed it was always there. Um, so should we go and investigate another area while we're waiting? I'll also give you the option to just, like, time skip to the dinner. Because yeah. I'm just aware that, like, obviously, yeah, this session is quite a long one already. Yeah. Okay, we can wait out the entire cycle. 
Yeah, do a little short rest. It would be midnight by the time we finish. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm happy to keep going till midnight. It's only you guys want. Yeah, maybe we should short rest it. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, so you guys kind of camp out for a little bit. Um, I don't suppose that does anything to exhaustion. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, unless it's a long rest. No. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, let me do some maths a sec. Uh, Jen, please do three of the things that I've asked you to do before. Three? Yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, um. Okay, I'll just give you the first one. Oh, yeah, that, that's not conspicuous. That's the oh. first one. One. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Um, do the second one. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what's happening, but that's all right. <laughs> that's the three in order. So. Mm -hmm. Oh my word! What is happening over there? You are very lucky. Really. Mm hmm. Good. We take lucky any day, though. You know that is good. Um, however, okay. Someone else was also making those checks. Yeah, and, I thought uh, they might be. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of vibe around for a while, and then while you're vibing around. What is the thing I need? I have far too many it's documents up for this. Oh yeah, they're definitely serious roles. I'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> my mind is just going brewer at the moment. It's like. <laughs> this this is this is the law and the terrifying session. Mm -hmm. Mal at some point will sneeze and during this time, and as someone passes them, just a massive like blaring like klaxon alarm starts sounding for like for like a solid minute and then just stops. Good. Did someone? Did someone see you set that off? That that's awfully annoying. Are you feeling alright, Mal? Uh, uh, I feel okay. They they don't seem very convincing though. I was about to say insight check that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like they, they can tell it's like they are not okay from what this. Um, they sneeze again, and you see a spell jamming helm just appear on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're, they're just gonna sort of pick the spell jamming helm up and then just. I think we should take you to the te uh, medical tent, um... No, I don't want to keep going We're just resting at the moment. We can still rest in the medical tent. Oh, okay. You can speak to Tam again. Should be, we, should, we should go speak to Tam, why not? Just good, good bro, isn't he? <laughs> the problem? Go to Tam. But, uh... <laughs> As as you're like arguing it, you would then hear another gong sound, and you can see from where you're sat that like the market has kind of cleared out at this point. So Sal, you would know this is probably around the time for dinner. Cool. Yeah, I grab everyone, let them know that guys, uh, it's right time. Oh. 
probably also be looking out to see if she can see where they're setting up the table, or at least where the market people are walking in the direction of. Mm, wait, sorry, what? You're going to the tables? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, Sal's looking to see if she can see which direction they're walking in to see if they, she can see them setting up the tables. So the tables basically what they're doing is the market stalls like they've taken like the awnings and stuff off and then those tables are being laid out in like rows cool okay yeah so i'll just point over in that direction then mm -hmm. maybe we can go to medical after i think that we need to we need to do this now we need now to rhymes with mouth <laughs> they say very pleased of themselves. We need to find out what this is. What what's it now? Their name. Um uh, sorry, I should uh, uh, introduce you. Now this is Mao and this is Jenny. Hi. Oh, okay, cool. And your name is? My name is Tana. Nice to meet uh, you. Ah, yes, sorry. And you guys, of course, you did meet. Uh, my name is Sal. Uh, nice to meet you, Sal. He, also, he does also put out point. his hand for a handshake, but we don't need to take it. Oh, Thank she you. absolutely gives a handshake. Hospitality and all that. Hmm. <laughs> After you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after finally knowing their names. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Okay, so we've got everyone. I reckon we head off, go to the dinner, and then we can take Mal after. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. That's Aaron, not character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so you start heading towards the dinner, and yeah, you can basically see there's just lines of people, and um, you can see, like, there's, like, a kid's table, and it's just a whole long one, and it's where all the kids are, and the table's, like, slightly shorter than the rest of them. Um, presumably the stalls that were being run by, like, gnomes and stuff beforehand. Do they, do they awkwardly have the teenagers sat at the top of the kid's table? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can even see that, like, some of the people who you would have seen in the medical tent, the ones who seem well enough to walk, are eating with everyone else. Oh. It seems that because they know that this thing doesn't seem to be contagious, that anyone who is well enough is allowed to come with. Um, can I do my magic awareness and see if I can see anything with the food magical? Mm -hmm. Um, so I see. I open my awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Um, I know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet. I learn the school of magic of a spell. Okay. So what you can tell is on some of the meat and some of the fish, there is, it's not concentrated, so you can't really tell what school and stuff, but there is definitely some of the meat, some of the fish, there is some sort of magic that doesn't seem like it should be there. Yeah. Is it including mystery meat? Oh yeah, it is specifically the mystery meat, if you're looking Any for the type meat. of meat. And the fish. And the red herring. Okay. Because it wasn't a red herring. <laughs> so can I see it on the red herring that Sal has as well? Yes. Okay. Little oh, baggy. Um... And yeah, basically, people are like, there's like one set of tables, it's kind of like a canteen, like people are going up, getting food, and you can very clearly see in those particular, like, sets of food that there's something off of it. I think it's the fish and the, 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 the meat, the, the meat that we had. The, the meat guy. Mm. It looks wrong. Wrong? How's it look wrong? I mean, apart from having multiple legs. Like, um... Weird magic. 
cat. I don't know how to keep saying this, you guys, but magic does not exist down here. You know okay. that. Do you can tell that something is off with uh, with this with specific meats? Mm -hmm. See, I, I trust that. Just as you've got a different conclusion, but the hell we're gonna stop them from eating it if this is what they're used to. I don't know, but we have to figure out how to get it to stop. I mean, the first thing to do is just take it off the table. But what about now? What about the people who have it already? Well, I don't know. I mean, first of all, we've got to save the people who don't have it. We can't have any more people getting contaminated. Also, if they contagious, that's the wrong word. At this point, you would hear Mao, who has run over to the kids' table and is currently talking to other kids, yell, What's the source? Very much meaning the source. Like, what source is this? I want to the source. Not asking, like, what's the tea, but in, like, the wasteland version. Totally Ooh, not it the question the that you should be asking right now or anything. Is it they're, on the squid source? Getting the squid ink on their food. What food is it that they've got? Well, I think that you just run off to go get food. Uh, because you guys mentioned the meat before Mao went to go get food, Mao has got some, like, leafy greens of some sort. Mao might take an option. Mao's not completely stupid. Mao's just eight. Just a child. Like Sal is unintelligent. Mao is just a child. <laughs> oh yeah, like they were the same age. Like Sal would be a way dumber. Oh dear. <laughs> I think Mao's intelligence is actually quite high. Yeah, Mao has a plus three to intelligence. <laughs> but yeah, I'll fair enough. Mal's not getting anything because although if Sal's already got it, you've already got it. Mal's got it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sal's just gonna say, Mal, sweetie, do not do not eat that yet. Keep it on your plate. Do not put it anywhere near your mouth yet, okay? Hungry. We need to test everything. Hungry. Uh huh. We will get you something. I've got something good in my bag for you if you come over and do not eat that stuff. Mao will kind of very disappointedly walk over, and as they do so, they sneeze and just disappear. The apple for two seconds, and then suddenly <laughs> he has wandered off. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. It's just, I, 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 for, for a moment, I just thought, oh yeah, Miss, I want mysterious meat here, but we got mysterious meat at home, the meat at, <laughs> but it's like, then you it's just hear Mao like, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you when you come here. I'm here. No, you are not. Do not trick me. I can tell I'm you. I'm right you here. And you, you can are hear kind of like here. jumping up and down <laughs> right next to you. I don't know what kind of trick you're playing, but you are not right here right now. I'm right here! Right, well, it's seen in this bag until you come back, so... They try and kick you in the leg, and as they do so, they would reappear. Because <laughs> that's technically <laughs> an attack. And they're going to try and unarm strike you. <laughs> it's a 15 hit. It does. <laughs> Oh, Damn, okay, great. take four damage as you get kicked in the shins. <laughs> four damage? <laughs> what kind of what kind of unarmed strike is that? 
Well, I always do a d4 for run up strikes because I think it's dumb that it's just one damage. <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah. Everyone has a sort of slightly multi-class into monk. Is it? Oh, well, to be fair, a monk could do it like eight times. Mal can't. Mal can just do it once. <laughs> fair. But yeah, you just get kicked in the shin by Mal. Why would and Mal you do that, okay? Why would you do that? I was gonna give you the food. You were just not coming to me, okay? I was right here. Uh, uh, also, no. Yeah. With every spell that Mao has seemingly accidentally cast. Mao looks even more tired. Okay. I'm yeah. So I'm gonna sort of uh, before Sal can. So <laughs> I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Mao one of my rations to eat. Mm -hmm. Mao kind of looks in and is like, but that food looks nicer. You can have some of the food later, just after you've tested it. Mm. You, Not fair. And they just, you, like, you, grab oh, yeah. the ration and go kind of sit a ways away and eat it. Alright. I take a minus one ration. I Did probably shouldn't, you... <laughs> probably shouldn't <laughs> be going through my rations like this, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Do either of you have any way to look at this fish and figure out anything about it? I mean, not really. I was like, just going to start taking everything off the table. Is this sort of like, uh, is this from a distance or is this like, do we have it at? I mean, we have, Sal has a fish. Okay, well, I'm, I'll investigate the fish. <laughs> okay, we'll investigate so I, the fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll sort of like, uh, we're actually, we're all our carnage. Oh, can oh, arcana, you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I still dislike having disadvantage to these checks. Oh, wait, no, that... You guys wasn't... should have gone to the medical tent. They don't oh, heal you. Oh, that's such a bigger number than I thought it was. <laughs> oh, um, I got a 12. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh my god. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some sort of magical contaminant. But it doesn't seem like. I would have much preferred investigation, <laughs> thank you, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you're not getting any information about where it came from or anything, but what you can definitely tell is, like, the fish itself is not magical. Something has made the fish a little bit magical. Hmm. It got magic salt or something. <laughs> I don't know. Very interesting seeing you guys try and work out this sort of puzzle. Gotten absolutely nothing. I mean, Sal has an idea, but I hope you're enjoying this because, later. like, I spent so long working out this whole mystery, and like, I literally have like a list of clues next to me and stuff. Do, uh, do, uh <laughs> is is there any sauce with the? Is there any sauce with the? <laughs> uh, the fish doesn't have any sauce on it right now. Hey, it's a sauce. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is the fish in water in the bag, or is it literally just the fish? Uh, it's literally just the fish, and it's dead, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. If you're looking for water, the fish up at the front where people are getting fish are in a tank, and they're being fished mm. out by someone. Again, like mm -hmm. shocking, grasping them. To then feed them to people. But this one isn't in water, so it's not the water. Unless the water has contaminated it by touching it. Potentially, the water might be a shell. But why would there be water on them? Mystery meat. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest. In ZD, I usually don't solve puzzles. Um, so. Me neither. I'm also working with Jenny's. Shit intelligence. Uh -huh, hey, you, you okay, may I ask, what session. is the intelligence of everyone here? Because I know Mal's, uh, Mal's uh, intelligent, they've got a plus three. I've got a. Oh, what do um, I, have? I believe I have a. Yeah, I've got a plus three also. Minus one. Minus one. Oh. 
Okay, minus one and plus one. You all thought this would be a mini game session because it's called the Playground Hut. <laughs> God damn it. No, no, no. We're gonna make you think. I mean, Sal's plan is to just take everything off the table one by one, but we're gonna get mad at her if she stops. Yeah, great way to get people angry at you, I will say. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Can we do something to the ones that are at least still, like, being served? To get them out, at least. I thought you were going to go investigate the tank. Like, what are you guys going to try? You know... <laughs> oh my god. I will say, uh, you um... guys are definitely on the right track. It's just like putting everything together, you know? Yeah. You have yeah. a I'll, lot I'll, of I was going go. to investigate the quiet. tank, but yeah. So we know the only two that it's affected is for me and the herring. Heron, her, 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 herring, 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 red herring, herring, the red herring, herring and the, the red yes. herring and the what was the other Mystery one? Meat. Mystery meat, the one that me and Mal ate. Oops. Uh, <laughs> if only I hadn't said mystery meat. Uh, the only other information we have, um, I mean, in terms of how they look. The magic might the magic on this uh the fish at least might just be from the shopping grass, or but Sal would know that. Um which True. might be magic from that. Uh the mystery meat it was slightly iridescent. That's the only other thing that I can think of. You said they said the fish was iridescent as well before it was shocked. Oh, mm. there you go then. So something to do with that. I hope you guys like the fact that all of the ones linked to the mystery it's mystery meat because it's linked to the mystery, and it's a red herring because it's not. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Phoenix is getting like le legitimate madness. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just getting legitimately wanna, angry. I don't want to be the one to kill Mao. <laughs> 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 at the end of the day no one else on Twitter knows you guys I'm the only person responsible oh my god it is very true <laughs> oh my god yeah, we can just like we can just like slip the phone now and then you're the only one that gets any blame for this yeah, let's see yeah. how Mal's doing uh. <laughs> So it's like, okay. So they were both iridescent, that they're the two that have been affected. Um it's definitely it's not uh, none of the other meats and fish are affected, so it's nothing how they're prepared. It's I mean it might be even how they're prepared. We don't know. Because it was like the fish are alive. The fish were alive at the stall, so they were, and they were all ready. I guess not much has happened to it. Good. Um, I mean, we know what's affected. So we we just got to figure out a way to help we have people to... and make sure people don't need it and reverse it as well. True. Uh, oh, by the way, Mal fine. just sneezed oh. and is now in a really bad, like, possum cosplay. As they cast Disguise Self on themselves. Oh that was incredible. So they cute. look even more tired now, though. My assumption is that, uh... We, we should find a Sorry, source. Alex, we, we, we know what's, uh, what's being affected, but we need to find the source. If we find the source... Then, then we then we should be able to determine, uh, sort of how we can reverse the effect. Hopefully, okay. I think mm. we just go and find the guy and interrogate him. Who the meat man? The meat man, yeah. Might as well try and get some more information out of him. We could. Or, 
I'll tell you what, if you guys want to go talk to him, I might just go tell the nurses that we should try and get it off the table. At least. If anyone's going to back us up, it's going to be the nurses that know that we can help the people. They know we've been talking to the meat time. man. Is the best. I really don't want to go and speak to the meat man again. Shall I go <laughs> speak to the meat man? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, uh, uh, if Sal knows that, uh, Tana's going to go speak to the meat man, Sal will hand Tana the badge. <laughs> I'm, don't so, go I, without it. <laughs> yes. I out of character, I put it in the Twitch chat, but it's like I'm semi suspicious that the the, the, source, the source is the, the source. source. <laughs> the source. Yeah. Like, the source is the source. <laughs> I do wonder if it's like a water thing in that like the fish come from the water and it was a squid ink. Oh, that's out. That's so it's like, but I don't know. I don't know. It might be worth. Okay, idea. Okay. Man, let's go talk to Meat Man while the rest of us sneak back to his, like, let's see if we can find out. Obviously, like the soul stuff is happening here. If we can get Mal to crawl under the tables and like find where they put all of their stuff, and we can just see if we can check out his stuff while it's. Uh, we'll look at we we'll look at the, like their stuff that's kind of like packed away from the market and yeah yeah, yeah so the yeah. food store stuff seems to be still kind of there it's what they're serving the food from to be clear cool it's on the table though uh, so it's like up at the front where people are going and getting food okay cool so in which case we can just walk over there and see yeah. if the squid is affected as well yeah mm -hmm. I'm reckoning. Actually, if we just go up to the buffet that they've got going on, we can, like, really just, like, zone in on the problem areas. Not gonna lie, I've been waiting for you guys to go to the buffet for the last, like, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, we'll oh, still start it. doing things. <laughs> you to go to the buffet. <laughs> so I don't want to yeah, lead that's... you to answers. <laughs> but also go to the fucking buffet. <laughs> I thought it was one of those, like, you know, um... What's the horror film, Midsommar, where they all just have the food like brought out to them on plates? I thought it was that. Wow, you thought it was that fancy? No, no I thought it was that like, <laughs> oh, The playground's great. But, like, yeah, they don't have the, edit the effort to do that. That's fair. Right, to the buffet. Yeah, let's just go. And, and keep an eye on now while we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'll, so you... I'll, I'll put Mao on my shoulders again and keep them close. Mm -hmm. So you arrive at the buffet, and yeah, you can see that there is fish, meat, of varieties, and there is also greens. And some, like, vegetarian options of some sort. Cool. Well, um, what did you do before? Can you do that again? Just like check all of it. Me? Yeah, Jenny. Uh, I can. I can. Yeah, I'll do it again. See if there's okay. anything I'm being closer. Yep. So, what you can tell? Mystery meat for sure. Red herring yeah. for sure. The water yep. in the red herring one also seems to be affected. Okay. You get a look at the squid at some point while they're serving it to someone. The squid itself and the ink doesn't seem to be the same kind of magic, but you could tell that the squid is a magical creature of some sort, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Can I tell a school of magic now that I'm closer? Uh, of what? Um, something, the meat? Um... It's kind of, like, messy, but you could probably just about... Remy an Arcana check. 
This is wrong uh-huh. is because of the damn exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a six. Uh, it's unclear. Uh, yeah, it's yellow. It, it's a yellow magic. <laughs> yellow magic. Okay, I don't know much about magic. Um. Okay. So the water is infected as well. Yes. And the squid may be a little bit. The the water seems even more strongly this magic type than the food itself. Okay. Can I push over the water tank? Uh, yeah, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Just knock it over. <laughs> you knock it over and it smashes. And yeah. this lady just looks at you like, What are you doing? Those are my prized red herrings. The water's contaminated. Is it? No, it isn't. This is the same water that we get from every animal. For all the animals. What are you talking about? No, it it's not safe. Making people Ooh. sick. You ruined our water. Well, prove, prove, prove it. Well, oh, it's people... everywhere now, so I can't. Everybody, if you want red herring, come get it before it dies. A few people kind of uh, scurry up uh, and start grabbing red herring it, off the uh, floor. You're welcome, we're helping your business. <laughs> it's dinner service! Dinner's always free! Okay. Well, that happened. But yeah, there's now people like scrambling to pick up the fucking the fish. I really want fresh fish around. if I were you guys. No, take the fish. Me and my sister's business is the best in the industry. Yeah, but it's also contaminated with something. You might get the illness and die. Stop slandering my family business. You don't know that. I know it's my family! <laughs> Is it? I'm pretty sure. I don't think my sister was adopted. How sure are you? I don't know, we have quite different voices, but maybe that's just because the DM doesn't remember what voice they did last time. It's <laughs> trying to create confusion. <laughs> Gaslighting your whole family at the moment. Literally. Hey, yo, what are you guys doing now? She's like trying to scramble to like clean up the rest of the stool now. Alright, so. <laughs> so that just happened. Um, <laughs> you want to try and explain yourself, Jenny? Like, I thought the people yeah. might not eat the fish and now they're eating the fish. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know what yeah. to do. Well, we appreciate the effort. Um, I mean, if they're still eating it, we told them no. It is it really our fault at that point. I mean, I say, what if we just grab a bit and then start doing the test? And they're clearly not going to listen to us. We just need to think about now and then go. Well, they did trust us. I don't know. It's it's hard at the moment. I might go speak to the nurses, see if they can get anyone to stop. But if they're not going to listen to us and they're the ones doing it, then we might have a problem. At this point, I would say, because we probably don't want to go on for ages longer, I would say you probably want to focus on where it's coming from. Yeah. Because if you can stop it where it's coming from, then maybe it will deal with the results. Oh. Well, if you're right and it is in water, maybe find where the water supply is. See if it's coming out of a rusty faucet or something. Yeah, maybe. Um, can we tell, do we know anything about where they're getting their water from? Uh, they've just told you this is the water that they give all their animals. It's not been mentioned where they get water from. Mm. 
where you might notice something on the map. Yeah, I was just going to say, there's a bit of water behind the village. Is that map somewhere else as well, and not just on the screen? Oh, but I'm ready a bit. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. You should have it. I'm the, the in, I'm the only one in there. I think you're on the wrong one, babes. Yeah, I think you're on the wrong one, because you're not in there. Nope. <laughs> you're not in the album. Weird. I was in one with you earlier. Did it change? You haven't been in it the whole time, as far as I can tell. No, I joined with you guys, like, before the stream started. I have no idea. Either way, that's the album. Oh, now I can see a pig! Yeah, I've just been waiting until it popped up on the screen. No. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna start heading for the water. I've seen it on the map. I'm going for the water. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, so you kind of start marching that way. Uh, you would as you go, you pass a building you can only assume is the enclave that everyone keeps talking about, and you can hear a variety of strange sounds. Uh, you would also be able to see. Oh, let me find it. Again, I need to cover up a load of other things. <laughs> Why did I put these all on the same page? Great question. <laughs> Maybe I'll uncover it. Uh, you would see this symbol on the side of it. Uh huh. That's um, you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> And then you keep going, and you kind of go through the village. The village seems basically abandoned at this point. Everyone seems to have gone elsewhere because of, like, it's not the, um... They're all at dinner. Well, yeah, they're all at dinner. Um, and you reach what seems to be some sort of, like, wellspring. You can see there's basically this giant structure that goes up that seems to have drilled down into, like, the sediment. And water kind of pours down the drill bit into quite a big pond. You can also see next to it, a, like, another wellspring that seems to pool into, like, a little tray. And then that goes into, like, quite a large, like, big enough to walk through tunnel which seems to then run off somewhere else, further, like, north, kind of behind the Enclave. One of these two, definitely. Um... Well, I, I have one more use of my thing, so I will use it. <laughs> um... Within what? 60 feet, right? Yes. Okay. That's not behind cover. Total cover. Oh, behind total cover. Unfortunately, you don't see anything. Can I, like, like peer down in anything? Uh, where are you peering down? I don't know. <laughs> like, the just tunnel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can just about, like, at the very... A limit of your range, you can see something at the end of the tunnel. I think it might be down here. I don't know. Well, it's definitely a good start. Good job you got this knowledge going on. I don't know where you're getting it from, but you know what? If it's helping, I'm all for it. Hmm. Going this way. Jin said so. It is an interesting ability. Hmm. Sounds like she just said, like, Jenny said this way, do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you start walking down into the cellar. Not cellar, like, mm -hmm. into this tunnel. Uh, it's, like, quite dingy. Water just kind of runs down at your feet, and you travel for like 10 minutes, and then you see 
the most enormous, like, squid-like creature. And it is just dead. And its blood seems to be running out into the water down the stream. And you could also hear, like, the sound of an animal of some sort. It doesn't seem to be an animal you've heard of before. It's definitely not a cow. There were some cows kind of grazing up by, like, where the water was uh, before you walked down this tunnel. Mm -hmm. But there's something down the tunnel, animal-wise. I was really thinking it was a cow until you said so. Like, that was my first first thought. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Cannibalistic cow. But yeah, the creature seems that, to be, like, yeah. partially alive, but it is, like, floundering as it bleeds. And it seems like it's been here for a little while. There's quite a smell coming from it. Well, I think we found what's going on. Yeah, I think so. Um. I think, yeah, uh, Tana would probably just go up, or go close towards it and try sort of like, not digging around, but sort of like trying to work out sort of what exactly is like the causes of sort of like the why it may be down here. So looking for clues about it. Mm-hmm. Roll investigation. Alright. Giant squid. Honestly, I did not think that come back. Uh, I got a What's well, the source, isn't it? Because <laughs> no it's the source of the problem. Yeah, I had way too much fun writing this session. No, I know. God damn it. I knew this. <laughs> I knew it had something to do with the squid. <laughs> but again, we, I was just investigating the small squids and not the giant massive squid that was just hidden underneath a well. Exactly. <laughs> 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 To be fair, one of the easiest ways for water to get contaminated is a dead animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's why you should only ever drink from running water, and preferably from the source of it. Oh, oh. yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, 16 in investigation. Uh, yeah, um, its wounds seem to have been caused by something, like, humanoid- there's definitely kind of, like, handprints on the roof of the tunnel in a few places that imply that, like, you're not the only people who've been here. They're kind of at that level of, like, you trip over and you put your hand to stop yourself falling in the water. Um, whoever did it was a clumsy, clumsy job of it. I mean, I don't think we help it. Yeah, we can we try, but to stop it. Yeah, but yeah, how would you go about helping a creature this large? Does Any anyone have a really big cluster? Oh. Nineteen. Ooh. You would probably realize, especially being the one who's with like looking at his magic so long, that. The fact that its magic is still affecting things is probably largely a result of the fact that it's still alive. Yeah. So, kill it. Um, I'll take out my glaive and attack it. You have it. two choices. You could either kill it in the hope that it ends it for all currently afflicted, or remove it and stop anyone else from catching it. I'm killing it. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling attack, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Honestly, Sal is on the Jenny hype train right now, whatever Jenny's doing. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> 23 to hit. Hits. Um, kind of um, like I'm ignoring, but he thinks it is probably the right decision. 8 damage. Okay. It takes 8 damage. I hit it again. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It kind of like groans 
there's kind of like this rumbling sound. That is a uh, 14 to hit. Does not quite hit. <laughs> <laughs> also, does anyone speak Abyssal? Don't believe so, no. Uh, I'm sorry, curious. God damn it, no, I speak Infernal, but not Abyssal. <laughs> I would need to check with the DMs if I do. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah, because you still have one that we have to check again. I have a, I have a language that is up to your discretion what it is. Hmm. I mean, if I can take it, I think it'd be funny. Or, like, interesting. If if both DMs are down, I want to make the the uh, this one the third one abyssal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would hear this rumbling voice, and it just goes, "Please finish me quickly." The other one wanted to make it take a long time, just to hurt your people. God. Can I just, I, keep just keep I just keep trying to attack it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, twenty-six to hit. Hits. And ten damage. Yep. Another twenty-six to hit. Yep. Another nine damage. Yep. Um, a miss. Then a 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. Nine more damage. And with that, you would hear it just rumble. And you just hear, thank you. And as it dies, it seems to almost like dissolve. You see this kind of like fragmenting of its body until these little kind of sparkles just dissipate. And with it, you would see the same like dissipation of all the like kind of this like goldish like liquid that was coming out of it that all seems to similarly fizzle away and you can no longer feel that magical presence down here you okay mo uh, I don't know. Um, I will say Mal definitely looks a bit better, but they still look kind of ill. I think you might need to have a good sleep. Hmm. Can we get oh. out of the tunnel now? Yeah. Can I? Can I make one more check? Sort of to in more in the sort of like the terms of how it was injured. Does it look like there have been sort of chunks that have been taken off it, supposedly for like, for example, like butchering it to a degree? Uh, so roll investigation, I guess. If anyone else wants to as well, or do you speak? No. Eighteen. Uh, so it doesn't seem to be butchered, like, to eat or anything. But mm. there's almost, like, these, like, pentagonal sections of it that have just been, like, carved out of it. Okay. Also, I'm imagining you did this before it dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's more, it, pretty much my mind was going and think, hmm, here's the mystery meat guy selling off the chunks of the squid kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see. Uh, so I, because my mind is going, who, who killed? Who killed the squid? Hmm. Who, who's been doing this? But yeah, like currently, uh, my thought. Yeah. So the water is what's yeah making the red herrings, all the fish, magical, but yeah. the meat itself is somehow magical, and or the mystery meat. And my assumption is the mystery meat is from the squid. And that is the correlation I'm trying to make, but it looks like it possibly could be, but also probably not. 
the mystery meat is from whatever is was right by here drinking and grazing by here is drinking direct from the source what was the, the, yeah the, sort of the chunks were pentagonal right yes and what was what was the what was the symbol of the monster hunt, monster hunter conclave uh or... let me just show you that again that's not about the shower Not, no, uh, not no, octagonal. That's octagonal. That's octagonal, and then the other one is a hexagon. Okay, well, Jenny's gonna start taking Mao out of the tunnel. Mm. Mao like takes your hand and walks out the tunnel as well. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll follow. Yeah. Tanner Tanner feel will follow, but he feels like there is a uh, more to this mystery to be unraveled, but it's probably going to be another mm -hmm. day. As you kind of exit, you can see the dinner's kind of finished. Um, but people seem to be looking a lot happier, and you would actually see Tam walking around. Tam looks very, like, kind of upbeat as they are walking back towards the village. And they kind of see you and be like, yo, dude! We're all better! Yeah, well, you kids are that. still kind of a bit, yeah, but... But yeah, as, as to be expected, it was supposed to be the children are the, were the most affected out of most people here. So yeah. it may take them a little while longer to get better. Yeah, probably, bro. But, uh... Was it you guys that did that? Because I, I see you guys wandering around doing your little investigation, bro. We hope so, but... Who knows really what it was. Yeah. Well, uh... Hey, bro. Uh, don't tell anyone I gave you this, but, uh... I have this. And um, they would hand you... Uh, one of the little playground pins. You'd be like, I... They... Oh. Like, they'd give you one each, to be clear. No. Be like, I'll take those. Uh, so, because I'm assuming you probably got to give whichever one, whoever gave you one, to get in here back. But, uh, you can keep these. Obviously, uh, it's still going to be hard to find this place, but, uh, maybe we'll go surfing someday. Sounds good, Tom. Sounds good. Hey, bro. Found it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Yes. And, and, and you guys? Yeah. <laughs> cool. You guys are so much worse than this, bro. Uh, <laughs> And then they kind of like kneel down and give a little one to Mal. That's pretty. Little bro. Head. They'd be like, alright, see you guys around. And they walk off. Alright, well, I think with our investigation and, uh, Jenny's quick thinking there. I think we did a good job today. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, we're starting to show how tired we are at the moment. So, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah I'm doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. Another few hours. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, no. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you've done the it? quest. I'm. There's. I, what are you doing now? <laughs> I'm. I kind of wanted to like just walk around to see if I could find anything with like a pentagonal, like symbol. Was a mm -hmm. like. Like Johnston, Tanner's like no. 
<laughs> but yeah. An investigation. No, no, no. Like, well, he, he, he's you have to go, roll pretty well. Well, he's going to go for, uh, past the authority town hall, Beaky Sprout Tavern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he'll roll investigation. Uh, he got a 16. Mm-hmm. That's with disadvantage still. God damn. <laughs> Ah. Oh, very true. Uh, so I rolled a random luck check to see how hard this would be, and I got mm. that twenty. Oh, uh, so God. no, that's a Damn. good thing. That's a luck, luck check oh. uh, linear. So um, oh yeah, luck is good. Luck is good luck. <laughs> yeah, luck. Good luck's good luck, no matter what, unless it's good luck for me, in which case it might be bad for you. But um. Yeah. So you wander around, and you don't really see anything for a while. Although, you do kind of get a glimpse, and one person outside the tavern, this one, like, smoking, you get a glimpse, and for a minute, it looks like their playground badge is a pentagonal one, rather than hexagonal. And then you'd see them kind of make eye contact with you, and they kind of, like, tap it, and it just looks like a weird one, and they just walk inside. Hmm. He's gonna remember. He's sort of like he spends a moment of like making sure it's catalogued in his brain. But with all that's happened today, I think he's gonna leave that there because he now knows where to sort of start or like what sort of like then he's not just going to leave it as oh yeah there's this clue here it's like okay I've got a base ish to put it to and now okay puzzle for another day yes exactly (laughs) Exactly. like I kind of just want to yeah I need to find at least someone in this town that is guilty (laughs) of this kind of thing (laughs) yeah like I'll say you memorize a face and I will make a note of that um, yeah. <laughs> so I think in which case we're done in this little area. Yeah, I think the only other thing is while while Tyler's gone and, and um if Sal's ever like away for a moment, I think Jenny will have like a kind of quiet moment with Mal to just kind of like and they'll he'll kneel down. Um, and look at them and say, um, well, I think we should go home soon. Mm, um, yeah. Do you want our new friends to come as well? They kind of look at them and they're like, mm, uh... Do they want to come? Well, I wanted to ask you first, because... If they don't want to come, then why make me decide? Well... They turn to you you two and be like, do you want to come? Up to you. (laughs) But do you want to? Well, I mean, I'm wandering around a bit, so I wouldn't want some stable living. And you, Tana? Sorry, I tuned out for a second. <laughs> You've been asked by Mao okay. if you want to come back to Squishy with them. Yes, I. I'd love to come back to Squishy. Then, uh, let me ask Little Squish. And they kind of like walk off a little way and start whispering to Lil Squish and then they come back and they're like the council has decided to accept your applications and then they just start walking towards the exit and Jenny will follow Mm -hmm. yeah we'll start heading out okay Um, yeah you all head up to the exit Uh, the guy would ask for the pin back um, except he's got our own pins now, so 
I probably won't tell them though. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to tell them. But it's like out of character. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and you guys are able to exit into the wasteland. I'm just going to do the rolls quickly now, rather than the thing. She doesn't know. Ah, there Which means is. it's a peaceful day in the wasteland. Uh, so, as you walk, you really don't see much. It takes like two cycles to get home, so please subtract two rations. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now on one ration, yay! Oh god! <laughs> uh, obviously... Wait, there. Words. Uh, yeah. Um... The only thing you see on the way is you do see a small campsite that seems to be entirely abandoned. Like, the fire's been stomped out, and all of the stuff seems to have been taken at quite a rush. You can take any supplies if you want, but it doesn't seem to really have much left. I will scavenge. Yeah. Seven. You're able to acquire like another tent, a bedroll, water skin. I'll take a bedroll. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think my character has a bedroll. <laughs> there seems to be like 20 feet of hemp and rope, and you'd also find like Ten gold, just like tucked in a little pouch somewhere. As well as, mm. I'm assuming that's yeah, each, yeah, that's not or not not each, but like uh, that's just what's there. Yeah, yeah. I'll ha I'll happily take the bedroll and tent if no one else will. Yeah. Need anything? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. 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 Traveling home is a lot easier than getting here. Nothing else really comes up. Interestingly, that chasm seems to have like kind of sealed back up. You can see a crack in the ground where it was, but it is no longer a, a gaping hole. It's like a couple feet across and you just jump. Um, and yeah, as usual, you can see Squishy just wondering. Like... It almost seems happy to see you. It's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't really have, like, a human face. But there's almost, like... It seems to walk a little bit more bouncy as Mao and you guys arrive near it. I'm not going to make you roll for climbing it. <laughs> it seems a bit unnecessary at this point. Um, but yeah. You make it back to Squishy in one piece. Is there anything okay. anyone would like to do before we end the session? No. I just want to no. tuck Mao up in bed. Okay. Aww. Yeah. So you t can take Mao up to their treehouse. And I think you're the second person who's been up there. You can see there's like a whole load of toys and like drawings and like stuff like that. And in the corner, there is a little bedroll next to a small plant. And yeah. As you bring them up there, they hop into bed and fall asleep near instantly. And just tuck them in. Hmm? And go down. Yeah. And with that, unless there's something you guys want to do? Okay. That is where we will end our session. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my word, I took so many notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the thing with roleplay sessions. You might not have a combat, but you got a lot to learn. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is probably the most actual writing work I've done on a session in a hot minute. <laughs> like, it was I, really fun. Yeah. I, I may actually just do a word count of how many words I wrote. <laughs> just, <laughs> because I'm interested to find out. Um, mm. Oh, gosh. I just, but, I'm like marvelling at how much character progression Jenny has had in literally just one session. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about roleplay sessions. I mean, yeah. on a single beach session, I managed to have a character just inherit all the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I have I have had or you know my sort of uh, system for note taking. I've added eight new tabs. Oh my god! <laughs> not not all, all of them are like fully filled out. Some of them are empty, but like I think about three or four of them are, are like have something in. Mm. Majority majority is just one. Largest one is like what I call the illness of the playground, which is pretty much just my session notes for this one. But. Oh, yeah, I'll get back to you on the word count. <laughs> yeah, thanks oh, for playing Jesus. the playground. Uh, hey, yeah, I swear, this whole session has just been me thinking of clever word plays. Just puns. Oh, Sorry, I loved, but I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. I, I think that's the first like actual puzzle session we've solved in a while. Yeah, I must admit, I am I'm glad that my cat. I must admit, I did. I'm glad that my character was able to shine somewhat, despite having a level of in, in exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, did. I think everyone got their little moments today. So, the two, so insight and investigation are the two things I have expertise in. And it's like, come <laughs> on, I've got, I got to do something well with this. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I'm I think just... as well as you guys get further in, you will have more ways to tackle exhaustion. Yeah. yeah. It's just because we're so early in. At the same time, the wasteland will always be trying to exhaust you because that's the wasteland. <laughs> I think I'm just lucky that I am, am proficient in con saving throws, which is what Leon was having me throw. Yeah. <laughs> to, to not I was always a little it. salty because you're rolling so high, and I was like, the DC's not even this high, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got like 25, 24. <laughs> yeah. Although I with that, one. because of the nat one, one. The, nat the nat one, one was a double fail, so <laughs> you yeah, almost the one because you caught did it, the plague. Spell, we were just saying, like, oh, we don't want that one. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you <laughs> almost <laughs> got plagued, but not quite. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys so enjoyed. Very, very interesting session. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad I'm uh, glad Tam has now been added to my NPCs list. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, my current NPCs list is Tuse, which is just the nickname I gave for the Scottish uh, Scottish raider that uh, <laughs> wanted a, wanted a nice story in green eggs and ham. <laughs> I've got Squishy, I've got Squish, and I've got Tam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you got a separate page for Squish. That's so it's good. Like, they're, not, they're not the same thing. It's like, or oh, they're not the same person or personal mm -hmm. animal. He's like creature. <laughs> okay, I've copied like the main, like the like the largest one so far, and I've written three hundred and eighty-five words. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, I thought uh, I was just my one page. That was a fun session to run, though. Like, I love yeah. my little mystery sessions. It's interesting seeing how you guys solve them. Because, like, when you guys ate the mystery meat, I was like, damn, that's gonna tell you it. immediately where it's coming from. And then it didn't, because, like, I was very careful to make sure there were multiple things Dumb. that had it and stuff. So I was oh, like, yeah. maybe I can throw you off. So, what, what is this? Hello? What is this? It's like, it's like then I also hear wait, it's like, what was the first one is like wait you're hit with something it's like what <laughs> or you're nearly hit with something it's like I'm, I'm, for, for a moment I thought it was like some kind of like fireball was just shot out of town's nose or something like that <laughs> it's like you <laughs> hit with yeah it's like uh, what's it yeah can you like, ask my you... AC did I nearly what was that can I know oh what uh Mal, no, it wasn't Mal. Mal. Uh, it was Tam nearly yeah. accidentally sickening Radiance to you. Oh right, <laughs> so it was not far off. It's like he just, uh, it's just like his snot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turns into a laser beam. It's a really fun magical sickness because it basically just forces you to cast a spell that is in your spell list, oh or God. like oh, that you can get in your spell list if I roll like past a certain number. It's one that like isn't on mm -hmm. your one, but it's your class one. <laughs> Yeah. Which is I've why never... there was just a spell jammer hell. I've never <laughs> Which I thought was so fucking funny. I've now got a new question is like, why are kids more attuned to magic, right? Or like more or like more 
vulnerable to this illness. It's like, hmm. Do you have a uh, extreme Never know. It's like, We'll find out, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, on that note, thank you very much, guys, for coming. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, obviously, stay tuned. We will have more nearby attractions soon. Uh, Squishy's always walking through the wasteland to new places and don't have any to announce today. But soon, there will be more attractions. More things to go see. And who knows, maybe you'll end up coming back to the playground again at some point. You four at least have a much easier way to get in than other people in the game. Um, yeah, with that, I will be ending the stream here. Uh, yeah, I hope it was good fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks for watching, like... people. Like, Alex and people, thanks for coming and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoy playing. Um, yeah. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye. And I need to find the end screen button. <laughs>